All right, we are live now. Why is the game so quiet? Let me click a button, see how loud it gets. Well, maybe I can kick it up a bit. Where the hell? Congratulations, you finished the main story. I think this is where we last left off on this game over here. Thank you, Ratchet, for helping us. I think I can kick up the audio a bit. Let's get to Kadaro Station. I think that should be fine, right? That should be fine. Audio's good. Just finished this game recently and then went back to the PS3 games. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah, um... So... Hello. Hi. Welcome, everybody, to the stream. Um... I feel like I need to have some explanations done here. So... First of all, you may have noticed... I am streaming... At a time that I usually do not stream. And that is mainly because I believe I went over this in the uh, Persona stream last night or something. Uh, it's mainly due to the fact that, um, whatchamacallit, some people that were very problematic and made a hell of a bunch of noise and constantly argued and all this shit in the daytime, uh, they're gone for the month, right? So it has left a very, very quiet environment like 80% of the time. And I'm like, you know what? Why not just take this opportunity to stream a bit and see how disruptive it would be around this time of day, right? So far, uh, I started the stream late because, uh, whatchamacallit, some uninvited guests showed up, right? But they were only here for like maybe five minutes total. So, so far, not really that many interruptions going on. Now, Ratchet and Clank here, we've actually played uh, all the way to this point in the game around like Christmas time, I want to say. Around Christmas, New Year's, mainly because I expected some people would, might might have been lucky enough to get a PS5, right? And if they're not, you know, they probably spend a fortune getting it, so chances are they may not pick up Ratchet and Clank. So, you know what? Let's see what the game is, right? I, for one, love Ratchet and Clank. I love it to death. I grew up on Ratchet and Clank. And my favorite game of Ratchet and Clank, although a lot of people say it's up your arsenal, right? Mine is actually the first game. I still love the first game of Ratchet and Clank, the original. I love it. Say people can't get a PS5 and just play the PS3 games. That is... It is true, but at the same time, Rift Apart, like, Rift Apart has managed to do what video games nowadays are afraid to do, which is make a game fun, and Rift Apart is just there to be fun, right? It is there to be fun for most of the time. Doesn't matter how overpowered you are. Doesn't matter how hard the game is. They're just here to have a good time. Skate around, fly around. I'm picking up coins and shit. I actually want to change that. Uh, collectibles. Uh, how do I do this again? It's been a while. Let me see. Coins. Here we go. I want to change them back to, to rubies. Because those are cool. I like Zelda. Zelda's great. Right? And to be honest, when it comes to the Ratchet and Clank games, after the PS2 era, they just kind of went downhill a bit. Right? Like, I mean, they're not all bad or anything. But they're definitely not as good as the, as the first three. Well, maybe better than Going Commando. Going Commando is pretty easy to beat. It's kind of... The game's kind of weird kind of dog shit, to be honest. <laughs> right? But it's like... It feels like Ratchet & Clank over the years have... has lost its identity somehow. Right? Like, you play the future... play the future trilogy of the Ratchet & Clank games, and it's like... Yeah, Kraken Time is great. But... The rest are kind of just there, right? You agree they went downhill, you played... you played Tools. 
I remember Tools was hyped as fuck, but then I remember beating it and I'm like, that game wasn't as good as, as I thought it would be. <laughs> uh, Quest. Quest was a download only game. I think it got a limited physical release. Kraken Time is great. And All for One. I have All for One. Never touched it. Never touched it. PS3 story slipped between time travel and dimensions. You don't think they knew what they were really doing? They... I think... I think they knew what they were doing, but they just didn't know how to get there. You know, you know what I mean? Because you have future tools, right? And it starts out and it's like, I'm Emperor Tachyon, fucking I've... I've slayed all the Lombaxes. It's super important that you're the only Lombax left in the universe. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, what about Angela Cross? What the fuck happened to her? And then, there's like a nice little Easter egg in the game, where it's like, uh, Angela Cross's last, um, known location was like the, uh, the area where you get the Dimensionator, right? I think that's where it was. And then, it's not until this game, years down the fucking road, cause uh, cause Future Tools came out in like 2006, and fucking uh, there's a little Easter egg where when you're playing as um, what's her face, the girl, I I forgot her name, Rivet. When you're playing as Rivet, um, she says a line where she's all like, "Oh man, last time I remember being around here or something, I was hanging out with Angela." I hope she's doing all right. And I'm like, oh shit, Angela's alive? <laughs> she ain't dead. On one hand, they saw the Dimension storyline and then they bring everything back all over again for Rip. Yeah, they did too. Right? They also killed Kronk and Zephyr. <laughs> oh, rest in peace, Kronk and Zephyr. Now they can argue in the afterlife. All right, so where the fuck is my, um, I'm trying to remember how to play this game, because honestly, I haven't played it since I last streamed it. Um, where the hell is my ship? I'm sitting here skating around. It feels great, too, by the way. Oh my god, it just makes me want to play Jet Set Radio. Rift is basically tools, with Nefarious replacing Tachyon. Tachyon's orange, <laughs> orange fish army. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The fish army was always weird to me. What was the whole deal with the, uh, Kragmites and the fucking Lombaxes? They just, like, why'd they hate each other? Was it just, like, a racial feud or something? Tachyon's kind of a lame villain anyways, to be honest. It's kind of like a step backwards, too. I mean, it feels like a step, like... I mean, to be fair, Tachyon is out here doing genocide. But, in terms of how he's, like, presented to you, it feels like it was a step backwards from, like, some of the older games. Maybe it's because they just went to be more, uh, PG or whatever. See, they brought back so many planets from Rift, even the pirates. I wish they did a little bit more of the pirates in Rift, honestly, because that area actually looks very fucking cool. A lot of wonderful ray tracing going on there. Don't know why they had the Great War with Ratchet. Uh, we're about to lose, so they... <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, no, um... No, they didn't, um, what you call it? They didn't lose the war. I think what happened was that... First of all, I'm, I'm out here skating. I'm trying to find out where the fuck my goddamn ship is. Because I'm not paying attention to what the hell I'm doing. Uh, wait, there's a map. I'm going the complete opposite way, too. This is my ship, right? I'm not crazy. Yeah, that's my ship. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm having like a moment here. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> having a moment. Thank you, Ratchet, for helping us. Um, I don't think they lost the uh, war or whatever. I think um they won the war, but then somehow Tachyon survived then showed up to help out the... He showed up under, like, a ruse, going like, I'm gonna help out the Lombaxes, right? But, like, Ratchet's dad was kinda... was kinda like, I don't trust this guy. And then, um... And then, whatchamacallit, later on they find out that, uh... 
the Tachyon's up to some shit, and they're like, oh, we gotta leave the dimension. This shit's about to be like fucking 10 9-11s. We're not dealing with this shit. <laughs> fucking die down quick. Alright, let me stop fucking around for a moment. Let me actually grab what little bit of brain cells I have left in this brain. In my headspace. And go to my goddamn ship. I wish there was like a fast travel button for my ship, honestly. But then, I mean, I probably would never use it because, why? I mean, it's kind of like Spider-Man where it's like you never really want to use the fast travel, you just want to swing around all the place. Swing around the whole entire damn world. Here we go. This should lead to my ship. There we go. Alright. Now we're making some progress. Oh, speaking of progress, I think the last time I played this, um, was before, uh, last time I played this, I think I didn't get the, um, what are they called, the, like, the Lombax, uh, recorded things, wherever the hell it was, I think I did that off screen. Sounds like something I would do, right? Let me see, is it in gallery? No. Where is it? Oh wait, collectibles, duh. Um, here it is, the entries. I'm pretty sure that I didn't have these before the last time I streamed it, so let's actually sit down and listen to some of them, because some of them are very good, right? Nice little references to PlayStation titles and stuff. Uh, Ratchet sealed the Kragmites away and then Tachyon was adopted until he realized his past, then stole the Dimensionator to free them, and Ratchet had to destroy it at the cost of finding the Lombaxes. And then that's where, uh what the fuck their names are coming to play and um and what the fuck is that game called i have it damn it with the twins vortex something no what, what is it called i got it hold up i got this i got this it's in my brain somewhere into the nexus that game that like that like one time those one time villains they were kind of cool i kind of liked them they were cool Max, uh, Max Apache and his daughter. <laughs> so, I had a weird meeting this morning. Caden came in. Apparently, the council liked my mapping work on Savali enough that they want me to expand it. By mapping every dimension. In existence. Yeah, that might be impossible. Alright. Okay, I thought about it over lunch. I don't think it's that impossible. I'll just need the Dimensionator, which Caden loaned me, a year and three weeks, which has already been approved, and to never sleep again. Work starts tomorrow. Haven't replayed that one yet. You have all for one and full frontal, a uh, full frontal assault, and then Nexus. I um, I remember when the PlayStation Store was uh, I mean it's not down yet, quote unquote, but for the most, for the most part, it is. The PS3 store is, like, down unless you go buy some PSN cards or whatever. But, um, I remember when that was closing up, and I was like, I gotta go pick up some shit. And I was like, I gotta pick up all the Ratchet and Clank games. And then as I was going through it, I was like, do I grab... I'm, I was like, I'm gonna grab All for One, because I know that game's bad, but I know it has a story. But then I was like, do I grab Frontal Assault and Deadlock? What are those games? Do they have stories? Are they, like, multiplayer? What is it? And I couldn't... I don't know what the fuck happened. But I couldn't, for the life of me, find any, like, definitive answer as to what the fuck those games were online for some goddamn reason. Right? So I just didn't grab them. So I think, uh, I think whenever I'm gonna sit down and do a Ratchet and Clank marathon, because I'll probably do it at some point in the future, uh, I'm probably gonna emulate the shit out of both those games. <laughs> because, because honestly... Like, I'm not opposed to buying them, but honestly, fucking, I just don't feel like buying PSN cards. Map my first dimension today. Pretty standard stuff, except the colors there were so vivid, like, whoa. A and there were these creatures. One of them even looked like a Lombax, but, but he had smaller ears, a mask, and a cane, and I think he was pulling some kind of heist? Whatever it was, it looked cool. So... Uh, it's probably your favorite after number one. Wait, let me see. Almost been 10 years since you replayed all the games. Played them all back-to-back -back on their release, so it's... Uh, oh, play them all on their release, so it's not back-to-back. -back. 
highly recommend deadlock okay yeah i remember um i looked up deadlock after a while because i was like i gotta find out what the fuck this is i gotta find out what the fuck deadlock's about what size matters is about and what the fuck full frontal assault is about right and then i remember looking at deadlock and i was like i'm sitting there i'm looking at it, i'm like is deadlock the darkest that ratchet and clank ever gotten because not only that not only that like people are being like captured and forced to kill each other but ratchet himself is like noticeably older like he's like it like it's from jack one to jack two <laughs> you might as well have a goatee by the way so over here with the uh Lom lombax fucking recorded shit um there's nice little references as our friend here goes around charting the multiple dimensions. And there's little references to other PlayStation IPs. The one we just listened to, that's a reference to Sly Cooper, right? Which made me happy when I first heard it because I was like, please tell me I want a Sly Cooper 5. God damn it, just, you can't end a series on a cliffhanger. You can't do that. Second dimension down. Not as colorful as the first one, but the creatures were definitely stranger. Their bodies were made out of all these old relics, but, but they could break apart and still be alive. It was so wild. And, uh, and now I wish I had asked Caden for more time. I, I just want to learn the stories of all these dimensions. So this one, I believe, might be a reference to Knack, which... Listen. Listen. I know Mark Cerny's heart is in the right place, even though he looks like a pedophile. Um, <laughs> he does. He does. But, um, Knack is a fucking terrible game. I don't know why they keep pushing it. I don't know who said make Knack 2. It's fucking bad. No one cares about Knack, and the only people who care about Knack are lying to themselves. Either that or they're just shitposting about it. Third Dimension was... Cubes. Really, really smart cubes. I don't know what else to say there, except that I might have to stop doing these for every dimension I visit, because there's a little bit less than an infinite amount left, and I could have mapped 32 in the time since I started talking. Okay, fine. Uh, he looks awesome, his design in that game. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Like, at least for the design part, I was like, okay. I was like, I can see where they're going with this. But then, again, you go from Deadlock to, like, Future Tools, and it's like, they didn't know what the fuck was going on. I, like, they, they lost, I don't know what the fuck happened, because how, like, like, Going Command, not Going, yeah, Going Commando is, like, kind of a joke sequel, right? They just kind of didn't know what the fuck to do, so they just threw it out there, right? But Up Your Arsenal was, like, legit, actually, them going, let's make a better game. And then after that, I don't know what the fuck happened. So many different tonal shifts for Ratchet and Clank that it's complete. It's weird. It's all. It's super weird, but at the same time, like that's weird. But what's even weirder is that out of all the PlayStation mascots from the early 2000s, Ratchet and Clank survived, even though it didn't know what the fuck it wanted to be for the longest time. Like at least Jack and Daxter, yeah, you start with some, you know, you start with like a collectathon, but then. It progressively got older and mature and you know it had a coherent story that it wanted to follow same thing with um same thing with sly cooper right like the stories later get a little bit more dark honestly the first game kind of had a bit of a dark story he was a fucking kid that saw his dad die in front of him like god damn it right and clockwork was scary as shit but like ratchet and clank it's like i don't know how you survived this long but the other games didn't <laughs> like how did that happen right oh god never played knack but you think it has potential it had potential until you actually sit down and play it and you're like oh yeah no this game's bad <laughs> it was until after you beat deadlock that you heard people complain that clank was not uh on your back in deadlock well he was in the chair he was the guy in the chair so it wasn't really it wasn't real however there's so many more games that you don't have clank oh yeah definitely like, again, uh, ancient, like, Secret Agent Clank, like, they're split apart in that. Size Matter, they're split apart for that, too, I, I believe. I'm pretty sure they're split apart for Size Matter for, like, a while. There's a part in Future Tools where they're split apart. A Quest for Booty, they're split apart for that. You don't have Clank on your back in All for One, but most people don't count All for One as a, you know, as a game. 
And Rift Apart, like, for a good portion of this game, you don't even have Kit with you. Ratchet's kind of by himself, and he's very versatile by himself, right? And Kraken Time is a big one, too, because they're, you know, split apart for, like, the whole entire game, right? So, I, I don't know. Like, I get that it feels weird, because after the first game, you get used to having the hover pack or the jet pack or whatever, because I remember... I remember playing Future Tools, and then Clank got separated from you, and I was all like, my jump is fucked up. Good news, mapping's going well. Bad news, uh, apparently not well enough, because Caden just asked me to go faster. Uh, wouldn't say why, but he, he sounded stressed, so I let it go. <laughs> faster. Yeah, okay, like, it's that easy. Well, good thing I stopped doing those recordings. Wait, I'm doing one now. Ah. Wait, was this one the... Third dimension was... Okay, yeah. So... That's a reference to a game, I, I forgot what, I think it's literally might just be called Cube. It is a PS1 game that some people think is kind of a horror game because it's literally your character in a dark void and there's a bunch of cubes and you got to work your way around them. It's a puzzle game, but it kind of, kind of gives off a feeling of anxiety the whole entire time, right? So I, I'm surprised that they even made a reference for that one. I know I was going to stop doing these recordings, but I can carve out some time every once in a while. Because I'm a genius. Dimension 31X7, not super different from home, but there were these creatures. One was firing a gun and spinning himself around every other second, while the other hung out on his shoulder doing live commentary. Oh, I wanted to hang out with them so badly. And PlayStation Heroes, you'll be able to. That's Jack and Daxter reference. I finally figured out a way to map even faster. Caden uh, might kill me, but listen. Instead of all the cranking and pulling a trigger to use the Dimensionator, I just converted the whole thing into a helmet that runs on voice commands. I mean, he can't argue with the results, and if he does, I'll just complain about it here. Dimension 242Y8, quite possibly the cutest dimension I've ever seen. Oh, the inhabitants were all made out of wool, I think. Uh, they could literally make anything. And there was a, a really pleasant voice following me around everywhere. Oh, it was incredible. Oh, and what's even better? I think I'm finally close to mapping my last dimension. That's a little big planet. So tomorrow I'm going to sleep in for an hour. Because I'm done, baby. I mapped every single dimension in existence. Woo oh, I can't wait to see Caden's face when I give him the map. And tell him that I'll be going back to all those dimensions soon. There's still so much I can learn. Uh, Intelligent Cube. Yes, that was the game. I believe that's the game. Right? Yeah, it's definitely a PlayStation 1 game. Uh, it's either made by Sony Santa Monica or Sony Japan. I'm not sure. I think it was Sony Japan that made it. Uh, I found out why Caden has been so stressed lately. Something bad's going on. Uh, bad enough that we need to hide as many Lombaxes as we can. And I guess all of my mapping work was to help find the perfect dimension for us to hide in. So, yeah. I hope I didn't screw anything up. This is my final recording. If you're listening to this, that means you didn't make it to the new dimension with us, and, and I'm so sorry. We're, we're trying hard to get everyone now, but our race is scattered across so many dimensions, it's... This is not farewell. I left a copy of my dimensional map in the archives, and, and I marked down where we're all going. I, I, I wish... I could have left you a Dimensionator too, but uh, hey, I'm only one Lombax. I hope you find your way back to us, and if you do, please look me up. The name's Mags, and I'd love to hear your story. I get like a feeling every time I listen to that part. It's like, it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's a moment where you just go, man, Ratchet's been through a fucking lot, dude. I love how the map just, like, went inside my face. That's cool. All right. Uh, Blizzard. I think this is, uh... Is all yours, Rivet yeah, Rivet has to get the phase quartz because they're making... They're not making, they're fixing the Dimensionator. Wonder what Rivet's up to. Sargasso, you said you gave Ratchet the Dimensionator so that he could find the other Lombaxes. I never thought I'd meet one of us, much less find our home, if you can even call it that. 
Do you really think it would work? No. No? No! Oh no, the planet's destroyed! How could that have possibly happened? So, I find it weird that Rivet is like, man, I never thought I'd meet one of us before, right? But it's like, she met Angela. Maybe Angela, like, just kept her identity hidden, though. Must find face like, wearing her outfit and shit like that. That would make sense. This. Looks a little busted. We must find another way. Look at all these rupees. Oh, I love it. My bad. Oops, wrong button. Come on. Me and my floaty jumps. The police on it appears to have stored energy from the dimensional ribs. Oh. I'm assuming that Angela, like, you know, you know how in like um going commando, like for the whole entire game you think Angela's a bad guy because she's just wearing fucked up armor. Fucked up bad guy armor. So I'm guessing maybe that happened. Also, I gotta say. Who the fuck was the guy that came up with Angela's design and said, Oh yeah, her tail is like on her fucking head. <laughs> it's so weird. And you see Rivet and it's like, Oh, Rivet's a Lombax. She looks fine. What the hell's wrong with Angela? Why she got a tail on her head? That's fucking weird. Yeah, weird. Or Angela's counterpart in the dimension. See, I thought it was Angela. I thought it was our Angela because, uh... I thought it was our Angela because, uh, because in Rift Apart or whatever, it says that it says that her ship crash landed where the Dimensionator was, and that was the last time she was heard from, and it was unknown what happened to her. So I'm assuming that she managed to get the Dimensionator, uh, and just traveled all the way here, right? Hung out with Rivet for a bit, and then went on her own to get the other Dimensionator. Dimension where bleas are still intact. Still intact. It's a thinner tail than Ratchet's and Rivet's. Uh, oh, Ratchet does have kind of like a possum tail. Rivet's kind of like a. What kind of tail she got? Like a squirrel? <laughs> nah. Not a squirrel. It would be like wider, right? Like a raccoon's tail, probably. Whatever happened here. All right. We need another bleas on crystal. Oh shit. How do I? How do I do this again? It's been a while. Uh, circle? Yeah, there we go. I love how... I love how Ratchet and Clank doesn't have the problem that, like, something like Metroid would have, where it's like, every game you start new with your equipment and stuff, and they have to explain what the hell happened, and, like, Samus is like, I got hit by a rock, and then my armor just turned to shit. But here in Ratchet and Clank, it's like the first game you get the you get the magnet boots, and in every game after that, you have the motherfucking magnet boots. <laughs> and then you just upgrade them. Oh come on, come on! My eyes have to get used to this game again. There's so many colors. So much HDR. So much ray tracing. So how are we gonna get the base it's beautiful. We should speak to a miner or engineer in the You're happy you still have your boots and your scuba gear and ratchet too. Exactly, right? You don't want that shit gone. Especially oh my god, especially playing Ratchet One and when you go underwater, you got that bullshit ass oxygen meter. Alright, where the hell's the crystal? Oh here it is. What? I can't throw my hammer at it. Fuck that! Oh, invisible wall! <laughs> the O2 meter part was not easy, exactly. Especially, um, especially if you fucked up in, um... What the hell is that planet called? I'm trying to remember. It's not Kerwan. Kerwan's the city. Um... 
the one where you do the race at, when you, f when you go through the sewers, and that shit gets filled. I gotta say, I am happy how, uh, how the remake, well, the re the rate, fuck, the movie based off the game based off the movie. I am, I am happy how that turned out, well, not the movie, the game. I'm happy how the game turned out, but I just, I just hate that they took out a handful of the areas that were in the game, because I kind of like them. I also like how, uh, <laughs> how Clink's backstory got kind of retconned. <laughs> From, like, the original into Crack in Time. Like, because the original, you head to the factory, and then you see the, you see, like, the, like, the machine that made him. And it's, like, supposed to be his mom, and he's like, Mom! And it's, like, sending texts out to him, and it says, I'm proud of you, son. And I'm like, oh, that's sweet. That's kind of nice. Alright, let me get my ass over here. Goons for less. <laughs> Weren't these guys a? Is it their first debut uh, into the Nexus? I think that's the first time they show up, right? They work for the twins. Oh my god! Okay, hold up. The shotgun is not gonna help me out here. Tofiary. Uh, let's go. Uh, blast pistol. I gotta leave my shots. Oh, shit. Ow! I forget that I have a dodge button too. I have so much mobility options. Room goons might be elite, but not as elite as us. Didn't like the movie game so much. They did red content. I fucking might I gotta say. I hate to, I hate to fucking just hard target on a person something like that, but my least favorite part of that whole entire movie game shit was the inclusion of Bella Thorne. Like, oh my god, honey, listen, I know your acting career is all over the place, but Jesus, you are not a voice actor. Not really used to it. Like, talk about having zero emotion whatsoever the entire time. <laughs> like, my god, you are so bad. Ah, this is the mining hub. Goons for Lesser and Ratchet 1? The the chief are they? Survey station should be nearby. You are just full of fun facts, huh? Indeed. For example, the average miner spends seventy two percent of they... their life underground. Whoa, really? No. Wasn't the main enemies of Fratchet one the Blark? Trivia. <laughs> the Blark? <laughs> These individuals appear as Don't know who that is, but earthquakes, lockdowns, interdimensional oh, shit. rifts. Sorry, I gotta move really my microphone on, out the way. We need that drill. We should hurry. Whatever. Don't know who that is, but this Stan... one could be next. What? Stolen? That's how you say that? Was unneeded too. Who was that again? You gotta remind me. I like blocked out half of the names of those characters in that fucking game. Maybe it was Thugs for Left or something like that? Stall Stalin. Who was Stalin again? I would like ammo, please. Make sure to tell your friends now. Sylvester Stallone was one of the big red enemies. Oh, oh! The big red guy. Eh. I don't think the character was unneeded, right? Because, you know, you gotta have someone there for Clink besides Nefarious. Especially since they wanted to redo Nefarious's origin. But, like... But that chase sequence, though, is fucking bad. Like, doing it, like, what, three times throughout the game? It's fucking... it's bad, man. Welcome to Blizzard. We are currently on lockdown due to interdimensional 
Where the fuck am I going? I'm like a bit... Since I'm not used to streaming at this time of day, my mind is all over the place right now. <laughs> I have no... I am not goal-oriented at this moment. If invisible walls didn't exist, I would be fucking... I would be going all over the place with my goddamn jet boots right now. It's so hard to not want to use them. them for too long wherever the purple is they are too voices the quakes and the bleeds on now this i don't hear anything except someone asking if you'll be drilling for face court soon not until i determine what's going on for all we know this whole drill site is haunted that's why i sent my science bots out to scan the purple and i have to pick them up I know it's safe. I don't think it's safe. <laughs> wait, wait! I'll find the bots and bring them back here safe and sound. These bots have intercepted a message from your dimension. Perhaps it is from that person we encountered. Hopefully they can help us figure out what happened there and prevent it here. Let's go. What was I doing? Where was I going? Oh shit. You said be quick and hurry. I got hit. I got hit by the fire because of you. Oh, you can't dodge while you're on this. Can't use your uh your phase shift or whatever the hell it's called. Oh god. I am out of ammo. Mr. Fun Guy, help me out. Do something, do some damage. Give me that. I want it. It's mine. Jumping tripods. I think it's from oh, Nexus. So she comes back to me. Oh, you mean uh, you mean using the magnet boots to like jump from spot to spot? Yeah, I think that started in Nexus. You uh, fly out the ship or whatever. At the beginning of the game, and then Zephyr and Kron get killed. <laughs> oh man. Rest in peace, though. They didn't have to die. That was so unnecessary. They weren't the best characters, but still. I mean, like, come on. Now they're in... Now they're in, they're in space robot heaven. Playing space robo... Blackjack. The hookers. Fuck this place, I'm gonna make my own. It's gonna have blackjack and hookers. Do they really get KO'd in that game? Oh yeah, no, they die in the beginning. Uh, what you call it? Uh, the twin, the girl. I forgot what her name is. It starts with a V. I think it's like Vetra or something like that. Like, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be like delivering her to like a maximum security prison or something, and then her brother comes to break her out. And then when they're leaving, she's like, "I'm gonna blow this place up." And then her brother goes, "Man, that's kind of overkill. You sure you want to do that?" And then she's all like, "Don't question me." And he's like, "All." Right, I guess, and then she blows it up while uh, Ratchet and Clank get like, you know, kicked out the ship, and then Zephyr and Kronk die. The ending of that game is like Zephyr and Kronk, uh, you see like their ghosts, right? And they're just arguing with each other again. And I think the reason for that was they were saying like it was supposed to be symbolic because like Zephyr and Kronk is supposed to, supposed to represent the PlayStation in 360, and they argue all the damn time. 
So they're like, them dying is like the end of, you know, the console generation or whatever. And I'm like, I get it, but I don't see it. <laughs> Doesn't make sense to me. Right? Current marathon is using your old saves to complete any skill points you have left. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm definitely not doing skill points in a Ratchet and Clank game. <laughs> oh, that's opened. I'm so blind. There we go. Uh, no. <laughs> Are you my new best friend? Uh, no. Do you like the PS3 and 360 Aww. reference? Speaking about Stop that, fucking... Hopefully he up how, do I, how do I say this without sounding like an asshole? There's no way of saying anything without sounding like an asshole. Fucking... So you know for years, people fight over... Uh, the Xbox and PlayStation or whatever is the best one, whatever. Maybe Nintendo's the best, uh, right? So, me personally, I don't care. I was, you know, I was raised with fucking PlayStation and Nintendo, so for the most part, I just kind of stick with that. Doesn't mean I hate Xbox. I mean, I have a PC, so if I want to play an Xbox game, most of them are on PC right now. And the 360 really didn't have anything that I cared about besides, like, uh, Gears of War 2, right? Am I going the right way? I think I am. I hope I am. Am I? Hold up, let me just check again. Make sure I'm not doing anything stupid. Um, but like... Fuck yeah. Sometimes when I go to work, there's this guy. Right? There's this one guy. And he's like in his... I assume he's in like his 40s or something. And every single goddamn time... He always got something to say, and it's always about how PlayStation's fucking up, and they don't know what they're doing, and blah blah blah, and Game Pass is the best, and blah blah blah, and anyone who got a PS5 is getting fucked over, and all this other crazy shit, and you know, all I can do is just sit there and nod my head because, because half of the things the dude is saying is like, false as fuck. Not in the terms of like, PlayStation is better, but in the terms it's like, Oh, Xbox fucking uh, Game Pass is the best, and, you know, it's out, it, like, it doesn't matter if you don't got a PS5 or whatever, or a Series X, it's, like, outperforming PlayStation Plus and all that shit, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, I'm like, it's really not, though. <laughs> like, if you look at the sales numbers, like, the active subscription numbers, Game Pass is doing worse than fucking Nintendo Online. And it's like, listen, man. I don't care, right? Because at the end of the day, play whatever the fuck you want to play. But if you're going to sit here and, like, try to rant about something, at least get your information straight. <laughs> like, fucking shut up, man. The hell? Like, I remember he came up to me one day and he was all like, Oh, man, did you hear about um, the thing they're doing, like, at the start of, like, May or, or June or whatever with with Game Pass and like the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, they're gonna put Game Pass on the Nintendo Switch. And I looked at him and I was all like, did you not see how the cloud gaming shit worked out on the Switch for like Kingdom Hearts and Resident Evil and shit? It's fucking dog shit, man. They're not gonna do Game Pass on fucking Switch. Are you stupid? <laughs> well, you're an idiot. Where are you getting this information from? Where are you getting this information from that I didn't get it from? That's what I wanna know. <laughs> And it's like, oh yeah, some guy on YouTube's talking about it. It's like, so you're just gonna believe every guy on YouTube? Okay, cool. Why don't you actually look into it yourself before you say some really stupid shit <laughs> and you look like an idiot. But I can't tell him he's an idiot because it's one of those things where it's like, if I tell him, if I tell him he's wrong, right? And I prove to him that he's wrong, he's gonna get real offensive, right? Get real offended by it because I must be conspiring against them. I must be a, a Sony pony or whatever the fuck it is. I don't know. But I'm just sitting there and I'm like, my guy, I don't know where you're getting this information from. You're an idiot. <laughs> Shut up. And I'm not the only one who fucking thinks that too because there's a bunch of other people at the job that are like, I don't know what this guy's been smoking, but every time he just somehow 
just starts a conversation like that and it's like it's like what what are you talking about <laughs> what are you talking about and why are you so wrong there's skill points in rift apart oh yeah they are yeah there's definitely skill points in rift apart uh if you like those two robots you might actually like deadlock they have the best oh yeah the robots are yeah i saw that <laughs> i didn't see too much of them but i saw them in the cutscenes. they seem pretty cool they would make the service free if they got enough revenue for advertising. They definitely would. 100%. All right. I don't go after all the skill points in this game. No. No. There's nothing for me, right? Like, the Platinum is never locked behind the skill points, to my knowledge. So I just go... Like, if I'm going to hunt for achievements, to me, 100% is, like, getting everything related to the trophies. When the trophy says I've done 100%, then I've done 100%. <laughs> right? Or if it's like a requirement that that lets you get like a secret ending or something, like for example, Majora's Mask for Zelda, like you don't need to you don't need to get all the sculptures or anything like that, but you need to get all the masks, right? Where the hell am I? We have reached the bot platform. But the functional bot is in the intact dimension. Right. We're missing something. Oh, so I just gotta move shit around, I guess. It's been a while since I played this. It's been a while, and to be honest, right now, while I'm playing this, I'm not even looking at my TV, I'm looking at my capture card. Because the capture card I use for my for like my PS5, it has a pretty good one-to-one, -one, like it's literally one-to-one -one reaction time, so there's no fucking delay for me, which is awesome. You know what, actually, what I'm going to do right now, I'm actually going to increase the size of this window so that I can see a little bit better, have a little bit more visibility on this. I should just, you know what, actually, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on a preview screen. That way I don't have to constantly look up when I want to see preview scaling. No, uh, full screen projector preview. Put it on my other monitor. So I'm gonna turn my head over here. Move my fucking microphone with it. And now, I can see a bit better on the other screen. And I don't have to look up at my TV. Because my TV's mounted on the wall. And I gotta break my neck to play video games. I can make that jump, right? I can totally make that. Or I can just do this. Oh, the crane moved the crystal. This may bring us one step closer to reaching the bot. Can I not jump that? I can totally jump that. Awesome. for <laughs> even this part right here with the vertical gear wait what what vertical gear that rivet uses her hammer on to rotate the gear even that wasn't cracking time really it's been a while since i played Kraken. like literally the last time i played Kraken time was before um this came out because i was like i gotta catch up with ratchet and clank and crack time something i've been putting off always trying to find herself one step closer to figuring out this message that's all of them. Thanks. Come back to my survey station. Oh shit! There we go. Yeah, Hazardous life forms detected. I did it. Facility security lockdown engaged. I'm gonna set up this topiary shit. Oh, it just goes automatically. God damn it! I thought it, you know, I thought it waits until enemies show show up. Oh, that is a big guy. Location unknown. Life forms. Uh, Robos of Doom. Got him. Just... 
Look at all these particles. Ow. Remember when Final Fantasy 15 was coming out and everyone was like, oh my god, it looks so beautiful. And now this is out. Final Fantasy 15 came out five years before this game. That's crazy. You want to know something else crazy? It's definitely been about like 10 years, almost 10 years since, uh, <laughs> since Grand Theft Auto 5 came out. Y'all motherfuckers are still buying the same game. Ow, oh, fuck. Oh god, I can't see shit. Oh, damn. Too much shit. Stop. Help. Oh fuck. All right. Get my bearings a little bit. Ah. Damn it! How am I getting my ass hand to me so badly? I swear I'm not that bad at this game. I think my mind is just not in the right place. Topiary, help me. Oh! Mr. Fungal! Mr. Fungi! Oh shit, I'm dead. GTA 5 released two months before Nexus. Oh god, really? Location unknown. Life forms unknown. All right. Throw those two out. Throw yes. these out. I'm gonna throw. Start melting them. Alright, uh Pocalypse Glove. Do some damage. Ow! I'm landing right on top of you guys. And you're blending in with the background of shit. There's too many! Come on. I gotta have something here. Lightning strike. I don't even remember what half these damn things do. Ah! I love how this guy's like a big ass motherfucker and I can barely see him. Peacemaker. Just a rocket launcher. Ah, uh, out of out of ammo. Alright, how the fuck did you- We all saw that, right? How did that fucking crab hit me from halfway across the room? Okay, maybe halfway across the room was exaggeration, but still, he did not touch me. It is bullshit. I may be partially blind, but I can see that. Damn, dog. I love these guys. They've been around since the first game. I love the little Doombots. They're my favorite. They're my little buddies. They're my children. I love them. They love me. They will kill for me. Alright, isn't there some golden bolts hiding around here? Somewhere? Let's see. Follow Jim, find missing chief. Optional. I'll do that. Later, maybe. How do I break these boxes? Oh, they're just not breakable, I guess. Alright, so... 
Set follow Jim. Where the fuck did Jim go? Oh, there you are. Hi, Jim. Are you not Jim? Hello. Are you my new best friend? No, I'm not. Uh, sure. Happy noises. <laughs> Happy I noises. Our base quartz extracting drill in the name of friendship. Whoa, that can't be good. That dimensional anomaly is identical to the one we saw on Sargasso. Good. That means you can deal with it. As your best friend, I must warn you that dimensional integrity could have affected the drill. What's that mean? As your best friend, I do not want you to worry, so I will not expound at this time. Instead, impromptu music. <laughs> As your best friend, I don't want you to worry. What an asshole. I love the little witty banter. Bye, best friend. Bye, Jim. I could have missed that little guy. Oddly enough, so am I. What the hell? <laughs> you really think the R2 resistance in this game? Oh, you really think, my bad. You really like the R2 resistance in the game. We don't even need L1 to aim sometimes. Yeah, exactly. I like the haptic feedback in the triggers, right? I know a lot of people don't like it because they're like, it fucks up my reaction time and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, all right, guys. Not everything needs to be fucking esports around here, okay? Sometimes you can just enjoy a game and have fun with it, you know? Is there some way I can weigh them down? I gotta say, part of me, I like playing as Clank. Don't get me wrong, but how the fuck do I? How do I throw this? Oh, R two, my bad. Like I like playing as Clank. Don't get me wrong, but. I mean, let's be honest, every game that has these fucking puzzle shits for Clank to do and he moves so goddamn slowly, it's like Jesus fuck. Oh, is that not connected to that? So... Oh, my bad. It, yeah, it weighs you guys down so you don't get pushed by the wind. And then this turns you over here, so I gotta stand on this, right? What does that mean? You got it, my children. Be free. Yeah, they cared for reaction time. They should prefer the PS2, L2, L2 and R2 buttons instead of the triggers. Exactly. Or just play on the PC, you know? Like, what game on the fucking PlayStation or Xbox do you really need that? that much reaction time for. And if you're saying first person shooters, then if you need reaction times, just play on the fucking PC. Like I don't I don't get it. Right? Super so aware that that this guy's dad is the plumber. Oh wait. Fuck, it is wait. His dad's the plumber? Like I'm pretty sure they, they confirmed that later on. But, for some reason, I keep forgetting, like, who his dad is every time he says it. I love the plumber. Plumber just started out as a joke, but then he's in, like, every fucking game. <laughs> hey, Clank, look. <laughs> plumber's crack. What was that? I said the plumber's back. It is interesting. Like, Jesus. For being dimensional counterparts, Ratchet and Rivet have surprising differences. Ratchet never had any wariness of robots when he met me. Yet Rivet does. Maybe your but dimension is the outlier. Maybe all the other ratchets don't like robots in their dimensions either. Hmm. I hope I'm not interrupting your process, but I think there are more spheres left hmm. to find. I know there's more spheres left to find, okay? Listen, I'm just having a hard time here, alright? I'm just trying to figure out figure out things. My brain ain't worked good this morning, okay? This morning. I can't believe I just said that. This morning. It's the fucking afternoon, goddammit. This should keep things on the down low. Alright. Now, throw that up there. Give me that. Put it here. Go, my children. Be free. Oh, you're not fast enough for this. Okay, hold up. Okay, wait, hold up. Oh, I got it. Hold up. My bad. I'm just gonna throw that back there. 
Where did the, uh... Here it is. My possibilities are a visual representation there you go. of my mind, trying to understand now, the and the where's the way down one? Oh, it's on this one. Way. Duh. I'm standing on it. I will understand Ugh. Be able to fix Give me that. Everything. And where the hell? Oh, there. there you go. Oh. Switch it up. Sorry, my children. Daddy's letting you die. There you go. In the credits, they show him together in the character viewer from Skill Points. They say it again. Oh, really? On challenge mode playthrough, you skip Clank's missions. You can skip him. <laughs> skip Clank's missions. And when you skip him, a screen shows up telling you, telling you what these two talked about. Oh, that's really nice, actually. Oh. See, that's what I'm talking about. Imagine Clank is not afraid to make a video game fun. If someone's sitting here and they're like, I don't want to do this fucking bullshit. You just press the skip button. Kind of like, kind of like, um... Well, mainly because it's made by the same developer, right? Uh, Spider-Man, where it's like, if you don't want to do the puzzle shit, you can just skip it. They're both made by Insomniac. Fucking finally, PlayStation bought Insomniac. They've only been working for them for, like, fucking years. <laughs> like, what was the holdup with that one? Alright, let's see. Oh. Oh, damn it. Right? Push myself over here. Alright. Lay myself down a bit. Straight. I hope I'm not interrupting the process, but I think there are more spears left to find. I know, I know there's more spears left for me to find, okay? I'm just trying to. Eh. <laughs> I knew I wouldn't be fast enough. I need, um... What do I need for that, actually? Wait, no. What the hell am I doing? I need that to stay up. Where'd the... Where'd the spear go? Uh-oh. Hold up. Hold up. Give me a second. I gotta scout out my area. I gotta get my... Get my mind together! If I may offer one thought, perhaps it would be beneficial to explore the area for more spheres. That's what I'm trying to do, man. Okay, listen. My brain don't work too good. I forgot I can throw the spear on the fucking saw blades. Give me that shit. All right, you get your ass up there. Thank you. Ah, get my spear back. I think I know how to help you with your getting caught up in the details problem. You just got uh the weight one. Confident. What do you mean? Thank you. If there's one thing I've learned that from should my last father, for a bit. Acting like you know what you're uh, doing get you everything. Where is? I need to get them to turn, right? How do I get you guys to turn? Oh, you know what? Can I just have you jump over there? Just quickly send them to their deaths. <laughs> you know, it doesn't feel right when I'm sitting here and I feel super stupid. <laughs> Alright, there you go. You jump over, you turn over here. Uh, I need to make you guys turn. Okay. Lay you down and then speed you up. There you go. Thank you. No, thank you. And remember.
remember, confidence is the key. Thanks, Gary. You're cool. I think his name is Gary. I wasn't paying attention, really. All right. Kelly like. can deal with the clock. Uh, yeah. I set the top minds on the team to execute and Hydraulic supply restored. With that fixed, we should now be able to use that elevator. Time to drill for some phase courts. Remember when phase was like the end all be all to like everybody who wanted to be a cool gamer? Now that I say that out loud, the terms cool and gamer do not sound like they go together. <laughs> I do not get another chance the mission is similar to fixing an oil Thank line you. to unrust something. Oh now, shit, folks. really. Not done yet. Hey, look. The squad is back. Come on. My aim sucks. Oh, come on. That bomb landed. It didn't land on you, but it landed near you. It's a bomb, damn it. Know what happened to your dimensions, please are. We will soon. Then we can stop it from happening in this dimension. I just fucking ate that. Jump to the side. Uh, nowhere to go. Look at this tech demo shit. Oh, fuck. Oh! <laughs> Boom! We are fast approaching the main drill. We did it, Quank. If you start with Deadlocked of the PS3 games, I think you'll really like replaying these games. Oh no, definitely. I love Ratchet and Clank. That is very specific. Specific goals are achievable goals. With that said, I do realize that Ratchet and Clank has always played it pretty safe when it came to their gameplay, to be honest. But I mean, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Just build up upon it if you could. Build up upon it and make it make it work better than it did before. Who the fuck is calling my phone? Why am I being called by an 800 number? Alright, I picked up the phone and then I instantly got hung up on. Thanks a lot. <laughs> it's a scam. No, if it, like... Most of the time when I get scammed what? things, it will tell me like, uh, it's probably a scam or I'll look at it and I'll be like, oh, I know what this is. Right? Sometimes, uh, most of the time when I get 800 numbers, it's usually like some insurance or some type of bullshit. Not like the scam one, like my actual insurance and shit. Damn, you saw how that guy almost fucking caved my skull in? Jesus. I gotta say, I don't like the fun guys as much as I like the Zircon family. Should've just kept the Zircon family. They were cooler. And they actually did more damage, to be honest. They felt like they did more damage anyways. Ah, I ran out of ammo. Oh! I just went straight into it. I panicked. Cold front. I forgot what this does. You're still alive? Jesus, man. 
suspended in the drill beam. Knock it out with my hammer. Please be careful. Too late for that, Clank. Uh -oh. Quickly. Uh -oh. oh, get the fuck out of my way! <laughs> Damn it! All right, Clank, shut up. <laughs> I I really don't like this gun, this void reactor shit, because you're supposed to hold it down for a shield. But honestly, the ammo gets spent way too fucking fast. And it doesn't even do that much damage. Like, what's the point of having a shield in this game? Like, let's think about it for a moment. You constantly gotta be on the offensive. Like, I would understand if the hits, like, build it up and made it stronger, but I don't think it does. Go. Ah, shit! Just backhand the fuck out of me. What the fuck? You're still alive? Oh no, there's one up there. Oh my god. Thank you, just fucking die already, please. And you, I thought I killed you. What the fuck are you shooting at? That is the last of them. There's gotta be a way back around here. You mean a way back like this? Oh! Get them, my sons, my children, my daughters. Bad news, everybody. I can't shut down the drill. I forgot to update the tools 4.331. Prepare Dude ate three fucking again. three peacemaker shots. Come on, man. Executioner. This is the Kamehameha maybe, right? Alright. This fucking... This goddamn... Weapon sucks. The Ricochet? Ricochet? Whatever the fuck it's called? It's a piece of shit. Grab it! Oh no, Rivet! Make sure. Oh, you had one job. Oh no. Well, maybe it's not as bad as it. Rivet, it's not the fucking Shikon jewel. You can't just stick it I back know together. It's gonna sound totally weird, but the Mords used to tell me legends about someone on Torin Four called. The fixer. If it's broke, the fixer will fix it. Then I suppose we should see if the legends are true. 
I can't believe we saved Blizzar. How about we fix up this face quartz and save the universe? All right, folks. Let's go find the fixer. If you are right, and the fixer is able to repair the face quartz, we will have achieved the impossible. The Mort's always spoke so fondly of him. And trust me, they are terrible liars. Then perhaps we still stand a chance of saving the dimensions. Are my weapons golden? I just realized that. Huh, some of them are golden. When did that happen? Oh, I think I must have did it through, like, the collection stuff, right? You get golden weapons if you collect all the stuff. Why am I using golden weapons? Golden weapons are so fucking tacky. That reminds me of, like, years ago. Oh, shit. Cutscene. You hear that? <laughs> That's the sound of me destroying lies. Dirty, filthy lies. They say this dimension is unstable. We're being sucked into a formless void. False. Think otherwise. I order you to throw your eyes into the local incinerator because the furious out here looking super shiny. Got all that ray tracing tech. He's been hiding it for years. How could they if I haven't even caught them yet, huh? You morons. Here. You want some truth? My Lombax bounty is now 27 squadillion Naparabox. Just look at it all. So big, so real, so totally not made up. And it can all be yours when you catch those stupid Lombaxes. It seems Dr. Nefarious will stop at nothing to catch us. We'd better keep moving. <laughs> look at it. It's so big. He's so real, not a scam at all. <laughs> I gotta say, I love Nefarious, right? But I do kind of hate how, you know, he got put into that, like, that nemesis trope where it's, like, the first time you see him in, um, in Up Your Arsenal, he's, like, really fucking strong, right? Like, that was a, that was a fucking boss fight, man. But, uh, you know, in the later games, it's like, oh, it's Nefarious again. Cool. I mean, this game kind of brought it back a bit, but it's not even nefarious, nefarious. It's fucking this dimension's nefarious. Works for me. An awful one you can play as uh, Ratchet Clank, Quark, and Nefarious, and they all have unique, funny dialogue. I fucking bet. <laughs> even in Kraken Time, he's threatening. He's good in Kraken Time, but still, it's like. Will be a straightforward one. <laughs> I don't know about your eh. dimension, but I don't think it's as difficult as like plan. as our, up your arsenal. I remember up your arsenal being like really hard. Fast. I also well, not hard, just more like challenging, I guess, rather than hard. Well, I can't wait to see you in action. I will say though, I kind of hate it how in crack in time how they do um. What's the name of uh Clank's quote unquote father? Sigmund or some shit? Yes. It's like, I hope so. he dies, but he just, like, poofs into energy, and I'm like, oh, maybe he, like, managed to live or something, and we're just gonna see that at the end of the fucking game. It's like, actually, I managed to make myself into a small energy blob or something, but it's like, nope, he's dead, and I'm like, oh, really? Okay, well, uh, damn. Kind of just poofed out of existence. <laughs> Watch the Donkey review on Rift Apart, and he points out that a lot of problems with the game, uh... Points out a lot of problems with this game that you kind of agree upon. Problems like what? I know there's some problems with like, there are some like invisible platforms in this game. <laughs> I will say one of the things is that I think because... In terms of gameplay, I think because they, um, you know, wanted to make it like a very impressive, like full game, but also kind of a tech demo, that the game forgoes like a more... A more... How do I explain it? Instead of you, like, being able to gather your surroundings, it's, like, very hectic and there's just so much shit on the screen that it's so easy to get fucking hit. Which is why they, like, have this dodge right here that you can just go through things. 
right? But the chances are that you're moving around so much that you're not fully paying attention to where a fucking, where like an attack's gonna be, so you kinda anticipate it. So you'll do what I end up doing, which is like, you'll end up, for the most part, just going straight into the fucking attack, right? Oh, Sigmund was his name, I guess. Yeah. He was always in video form. And it was hard to think he was real. I thought he was going to be like a fucking plot twist or something. I thought he was going to be evil. Problems like saying how Nefarious was not threatening. Uh, had no motivation to be the bad guy. I think when it comes to Nefarious for this... For this... Like, I would say that for like most of the other games, right? Except for Up Your Arsenal. But when it comes to this game, I think... Nefarious himself is not supposed to be threatening, but the Imperial Nefarious is. Because the moment he comes up on screen, he's all like, alright, get out of here. Time to get shit done. <laughs> right? The area missions on hard were not very fun. They limit your weapon choices to one item. Oh, they do? Oh, no, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I hate when a game like tries to make things hard for the sake of making it hard, right? Like if it's hard because it's challenging, then that's fun. But when it's hard for the sake of being hard, it sucks, right? Which is why like which is why like I love I love Demon Souls and Dark Souls, but Dark Souls 2 is fucking dog shit, right? And um same thing with like Kingdom Hearts 3. Like I know a lot of people would go like would go like, oh, uh, what's his name? Yazora is the best fight in the game, but it's like it's really not though. It's a hodgepodge of bullshit, right? I think the best fight in the game is uh and by the way, Yazora is part of the DLC, which is also stupid. Because the actual secret boss of Kingdom Hearts 3 is like a fucking dog shit easy ass fuck fight that you don't have to think to do, right? But you have Xion in the data battles, right? And I think she's the best fight in the game because her one gimmick is that she can permanently put your health down, right? But the rest of her movesets, you can fucking catch her on it, right? So it's challenging because... It's fun because it's challenging, right? It's hard because it's challenging. It's not Yozora where it's hard and bullshit for the sake of him being hard and bullshit. Some of the challenges, at least five rounds with the Warmonger, is hard even when maxed out. The Warmonger? Wh which one is that? Is that the, um... Is that the one with the wormhole? Where you, like, summon Tachyon's fucking throne and shit? I fucking hate this item. I hate it. It's so stupid. I hate this fucking weapon. I don't know who thought it was a good idea. I don't even know how it works. To be honest. Does anyone here know where we can find the fixer? Guess they're being cautious. Warmonger <laughs> might be your 11 o'clock. Oh, it might be at my 11 o'clock. Oh. What? My 11 o'clock is here. What are you talking about? What are you smoking? Some kind of Mitchell launcher. Might be a different name. Oh, is it a... Oh, it might be the leveled up version of the peace of the Peacemaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it called the Warmonger in a different game? Because that sounds familiar. The peace Like, I love how there's just staples in Ratchet and Clank. Like, the Peacemaker has been there since the first game. Right? Just a fucking rocket launcher. <laughs> Same thing with the Glove of Doom, which is now like the Apocalypse Glove, or like Agents of Doom, or whatever the hell. They don't have the Disco, the Groovatron in this goddamn game, right? I don't think they do. I don't remember. Warmongers and Ratchet 1 and All for 1. Okay. And obviously they have the Rhino, which stands for Rippy a New One. Ow! Oh, that's Acid. Oh, my bad. I wasn't paying attention. It, it was so shiny that I didn't notice the fucking steam coming off of it. 
I should have noticed the steam coming off of it because it was yelling at me. It was all like, buy five games for the price of two dollars. Half of these games are made by some lonely person in his basement, and it's all titled hentai shit, but it's like a shitty puzzle game. <laughs> they only cost 99 cents. You know you want it. You like anime. I see you like anime. Wish you had the Groovatron in this game. Me too. I think, I think maybe they didn't have the Groovatron in this game because it'd probably fuck up the ray tracing or something. Or like, uh, or it would, um, whatchamacallit, just add way more shit on the screen. <laughs> A lot of shit on the screen. Pixel I love that they brought back the Pixelizer though. I hate how in the, uh, like the remake, the Pixelizer was like a fucking pre-order weapon, I think. And I don't think you can get it any other way. Or maybe you buy it later in the game. Welcome to the jewel of our galaxy. Please, enjoy yourselves. Do you know Malinov means paradise in Junkish? Hmm. Is the fixer on this planet? He most definitely is! Great guy, the best, and single, if either of you are interested. What? We were told that he can fix phase quartz. Now here being the wingman for the for the fixer. Anything. But uh, we've been having trouble with pirates, so we asked him to help because you know he's a bouncer was a pre-order weapon, which you had to get. Just broke. Perhaps we could fix the bouncer. You two look like you could straighten him out in a mall enough. Which one is that? But the path to him was destroyed in the last pirate raid, so you'll need a hurl shot. Oh, and I saw one in the smelting pits further ahead. Lucky you. Can we all just be appreciative that games are no longer trying to incorporate a fucking phone app? Like, god so, damn it. After this, sir, make sure you download our app. Make sure you download our iFruit app for your Grand Theft Auto 5 so you can hang around with Chop, the world's shittiest dog. Why afraid? It is. Oh man, Chop's so cool, it's a Rottweiler dog. It's my favorite. You know, I always wanted a Rottweiler. Best dog ever. You'd be surprised how many people I fucking... I hear say that dumb shit when I look at them. I was like, I would never... Ever... <laughs> trust your ass with a Rottweiler. No one ever. Um, here we go. Just do that. There we go. Oh, come on! You just ate that like it was nothing? Really? Where the fuck did you come from? Hmm. Let's see. Pure 29. Uh, 29, 29. I'm sorry, I'm getting attacked by shit. I gotta pay attention to what the fuck. Executioner, it's a shotgun. I love shotguns. Bam. Oh, come on. Yeah, I saw you auto track that. That guy completely did a fucking 180 and hit me in the middle of his attack. Oh my god, how many are, are you are there? Are you guys just gonna keep coming? Watch out. Better jump. Oh, sorry. God damn it. I couldn't even see it. <laughs> Broken rail ahead. All right, I'm sorry. What? Pre-order two, uh, 299. It launches orbs and bounces around. And then explodes and splits into smaller metal orbs. From Ratchet and Clank 2. Wait, the bouncer. Oh, is that the ricochet? That I'm using right now? The one that I fucking hate? In favor of some devs or something. Ah! Kind of emote. <laughs> Licking a dog. Ah! I phased through that. I phased through that. Better you saw that? Jump! We all saw how I phased through that railing. Here comes another one. 
melting pit is a curious place for a hurl shot to be. I'm guessing it has something to do with them all getting recalled recently. Something about fractured spines? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Smooth. There's a rift! Oh, hey, it's a gold bolt. That, huh? Very impressive. Very impressive. They keep coming. Here comes a jump. Oh dear. This rail system seems exceedingly dangerous. Just hang on. You're fucking with my camera angle. I can't really pits. see what the hell I'm doing. We may end up in a oh come on. Pit. That was your fault, game. For some reason, you didn't give me enough momentum. What the hell was that about? Oh dear. This rail system seems exceedingly dangerous. Here we go. Dangerous. Just hang on. It goes straight to the smelting pits. I am afraid we may end up in a smelting pit. I gotta like double jump to get enough momentum. Jesus. There we go. The ricochet sounds like it. Let me pull it out. I love how Rusty Pete is just like a dandy ass pirate. Look here, mateys, this looks useful. In fact, I've a notion that it be crucial. It's its fate has brought us together again, my petit rivet. Guess fate really loves seeing you get your butt kicked, Pierre. My bad, his name is Pierre. You pirate mateys! Alright, is it this fucking guard? Where is it? Where's this goddamn thing? Is it this fucking garbage? This thing? That I fucking can't stand? Because it leaves you open, like, for so long, and it doesn't even do that much damage. I mean, to be honest, they're holding shields right now, so that's kind of my fault. But still, like, even without it, it doesn't really do that much damage. Uh, Topiary, hello? Do your job. Uh, here we go. Uh, where are my little babies? Oh, what the hell? Get up there, Rivet! God damn it! Where is it? This damn thing? They are just fucking them up. Oh my god, they ripped them apart. They just all fucking started biting his ankles. <laughs> uh, which way am I going? This way? You got it, Rivet. There we go. Hmm. I'm also happy that, along with shot. games not having to now put in apps and shit, we don't have to deal with uh, gyro controls no more. Alright. Damn, that's one powerful shield. Doing all that work. If Molinoth is mostly junk, what are they hoping to loot here? They're better to find buried treasure than on a junk planet. Oh, 
I'm gonna be honest, I'm sorry I'm not really talking that much. <laughs> My brain is like... I think it's still fried from last night's stream, to be honest. Gotta get used to this shit. Oh, come on. There we go, gotta lead my shots a bit. Oh wait, what, what gun do I have? Oh, I got a topiary on. My bad. What the fuck hit me? I know it wasn't you guys that hit me because you were behind the pillar, so what the fuck hit me? You did play the Nexus phone game. There was a phone game for the Nexus? Basically unbalanced the Rainitanium. Rainitanium. Raritanium you earn. So it didn't make anything fun. Aww. I didn't even know the Nexus had a fucking... Honestly, Into the Nexus probably had the worst fucking... Um... Advertisement. Like market campaign that I've ever seen in a while. Because... The only time I ever remember hearing about... Into the Nexus is if... Is there not a fucking... Oh. Here it is. I was confused for a minute. Um... What the fuck hit me? What? I guess I don't go that way? I'm sorry. What? Yeah. Like, I just... I'm trying to do it faster because I don't... Alright, I have no idea what happened, but okay. That was weird. Yeah, but, uh, Into the Nexus had, like, a terrible marketing campaign. Because I think the only time I ever saw it was, like, the only people that ever talked about it was, like, IGN and fucking... If it wasn't IGN, I only saw it on, like, posters, like, around GameStop. Oh, shit. I gotta pay more attention to where the hell I'm going. Good thing my little... Demon robots are taking care of everything for me. Uh oh. Damn it. There we go. Why are you standing up there? Come on. There we go. Here I come, Is that it? Are you getting tired of it? Perhaps you would like a new death button. All it was was rail grinding to collect raritanium? Really? Like was it a uh, Temple Run ripoff? <laughs> Remember Temple Run was like the hotness around the time? It still kind of is. Uh, a bunch of mobile games still fucking copy off of that shit. No, we are not. Oh, what the fuck? It'd be nice if I could push him off. That'd be really funny, actually. You are getting fucked up. Just getting bitten up by a bunch of robo chihuahuas. Just look at them. <laughs> look at them go. You can't handle it. Oh, 
The Rhino doesn't really do that much damage. Which is really bad, actually. Oh, Bouncer! Here it is! What the hell does this thing do? Oh! Oh yeah, no, I like the Bouncer. It's pretty cool. If you aim it right, it does a shit ton of damage, too. If you can get it in a good spot. Uh, what the fuck? What hit me? Was that his? Was that his mind? I guess. <laughs> I suggest we abandon ship. I suggest. I was gonna tell him to shut up, but that's actually a brilliant plan, Clank. Nice one, Bolts. I'd be happy if I Mrs. Zircon. I need some ammo. Plenty more where that came from. Cold front, doom blades. Um, what do I want? The uh, I can also upgrade a bunch of shit. I should upgrade the peacemaker. Bless your heart, you already own that one. How do I uh, hold to buy? Oh, there we go. Chain select. Now that is gonna pack a punch! My bad. There we go. Micro rockets. That's cool. Great start! Where to next? <laughs> it is raining rockets today! Where's my rear titanium at? Where's the number for that? Oh, it's right. It's right there. I'm stupid. It's 34. Sorry. No open um, here. Bon voyage. Migraine. What is this one again? Low time shift. Oh, it's the, uh... Wait. What the fuck? Must be one that I barely use. Oh, it's the sniper. Okay. Yeah, it kind of sucks too, to be honest. Doom blades. Pop I mean, why not, right? These are my boys. What's this? Increases the number of attacks they can do? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Pixelizer, Rhino, oh. Maybe I should actually upgrade the Rhino. Wait. Wait, what's the map? Oh, it's grayed out. Duh. Gold cell unlocked. Increases dimensional power of the Rhino pull object from different universes. Okay. That's all I got. Bye bye now. All right, now where the hell am I going? Oh, that's back to my ship. Wait. So where the fuck am I supposed to be going, actually? That leads back to my ship. What the hell did I do all that stuff for? Gotta admit, the fix are being Uh, where's the pixelizer? Giant robot is not what I expected. 
I like this gun. It's not the strongest, but still cool. That's a pretty wide range, too. Honestly. I think it might have been stronger in uh, the PS4 game, though. I remember it doing, like, a good amount of damage. On, like, bosses and stuff. He did, like, a good amount of burst damage. Almost there. I didn't make you do shit. You did it on your own. That's Pierre's fault. For being an idiot. Oh my god, what? <laughs> the Sly Cooper car. Oh. That made my day. Oh, wow. Ow, fuck, damn it. Oh shit, I landed right in the middle of you guys. Oh my god, there's so fucking many of you, Jesus. Oh, I landed right on top of like a bomb or some shit. Who's shooting shit at me? Where are you? Oh, you're all the fuck the way over there. Get him, my little chihuahuas of doom. Destroy him. man got attacked by a small army. Jesus. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up. We're in deep trouble. But there's no point in worrying about it now. I love how no one points out just how much of a murderer Rivet and uh, Gratchet are. <laughs> like everyone likes to point out like is is Nathan Drake really a good guy cuz he kills a lot of people, but it's like what about Ratchet and Clank? Think about how many people they fucking killed. How many innocent life forms they just shot down. Like, to be honest, they're basically the opposite of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Sonic's all about saving the animals and not letting technology take over. Raj and Clank is like, we are the animals. Fuck the animals. I want more technology. <laughs> How exactly will we fix the fixer? Rivet, I don't want to see you turn anything on. To be honest, be well, all the creepy awesome. shit that people went after this game, you know? Oh my god, Judge Dredd, is that you? That was highly unnecessary. You didn't mean you didn't need to do that. That's highly unnecessary. You don't need to do that. Yeah. At least the pirates are taken care of. Please focus on the grinding. 
Oh shit. You're right about that, Clank. I'm sorry. He's bringing the whole place down. Jump ahead. Destruction is our natural state. What is he, the breaker now? I see a fellow broken one. Talking about me? Because of your arm? Don't listen to him, Bolts. If you're broken, so am I. And I think we're pretty awesome. Oh, do you have any ideas? Because I'm having a hard time thinking while running away from a giant homicidal robot! I am working on it. I'm trying to focus here because I... These camera angles are a little fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. I gotta like focus on the railing, make sure there's not like a hole in the middle of it. A little bit of a shadow of the Colossus there. <laughs> I can't see shit anymore. God damn it. How strong you gotta be to do that shit? I'm wrestling with the Iron Giant. Makes no I sense how strong she is. I was, but you me Maybe it's realize. her robo arm. I am still clank. I am quite relieved. When the bullets asked me to protect them, it opened my eyes to a great many broken things. So very many. And you became distressed. But being able to fix another, to see that all is not lost. How can I ever repay you? Oh, don't worry, guys. He's not a big scary robot. He's just mentally unstable. Clink's just, Clink's just lying to save their lives. Exactly, right? <laughs> He's like, I'm, I'm fixed. Thank you. you sure about that? You, you still got oil leaking through there. Hope does not compute. Phew. Let's get back to the ship, shall we? Yes. Oh, I hope Ratchet had an easier time building a new dimensionator. And this jackass right here was trying to be his wingman. Talk about you rescuing me back there. Talking about the fixer single. I bet he is like acting like that. Even in my dimension. I thank you, Rip. You here for weapons or ammo? I'm, I'm here for pleasure. But that means it depends on you. I mean, if all he has to do is look at something to fix it, why not fix Clank's arm right now? Because if he did, then he'd be like, wait a minute, Clank, you lied to me. You're not fixed. And he'd just crush him. Or both their arms. Uh, why as a fixer? What? Well, I mean, I don't... I mean, as a fixer, I... Oh, actually, you know what? I was about to say... I assume he can only fix, like, robotic shit and, like, technology, but he just repaired a crystal. How the fuck does that work? Huh. I guess Rivet would need to have her arm with her, though. And I'm assuming her arm is just, like, in a fucking ditch somewhere, crushed. 
Why is there a second Blizzard mine? Wait, what? Where are the checkpoints were? Oh, optional shit. Okay, yeah. Search the factory. Support resistance activity in the factory by Blizzard. Okay, well. Fuck that. This is an ocean. Yes, it is water. Cool, right? And just think, once we forge this thing and save the dimension, you'll have a whole universe to explore. How are you not afraid of the future? With all of its unknowns. I do get... Uh... You asked me on Savali if I wanted to find my family. For a long time, I did. I mean... I really did, but the closer I got to doing that, what if they're not what I expected? What if I'm not what they expected? I just... Ratchet. Anyways. Shut the fuck up. I think we're here. <laughs> she, she just stops him. She goes, all right, I ain't asked for your life story. <laughs> Calm down. Kadaro Station houses the Emperor's most secret research. Ratchet has the keyblade. The only Forge yeah. <laughs> strong enough to build the Dimensionator. So it's our only shot. Good to know. This is kind of a fun area Emperor. in the game too. Our protein cube delivery has arrived. Protein cube. Oh. That's how you say hello. Uh, where am I? The elevator is descending. That better not be the only way into the station. I'm hoping that you're dead, right? Nope, you're not. Now you are. What the hell is forming on the ground? Oh, it's like... An electricity bomb or some shit. Opening. Are we done here? Is that everyone? Are we good? The music's still playing. Oh, no. Nope. These guys are around. Getting in the front door with this. Oh shit. Can we look around? There must be another way in. My legit pea shooter. <laughs> oh damn. Some of these cutscenes are pretty cringe. Yeah, a little bit. Just a little bit. The fuck was that noise? I heard something. Like a radio transmission or something. First she was the scared one, and then Ratchet's the scared one, and she consoles him. <laughs> Just a circle of cringe. You want to talk about cringe? Anyone who likes ReZero. <laughs> That's right, I went after them. All I know is about that show is that at some point a character goes, I give up, and then a waifu goes, don't give up, and then the character goes, I know the answer to everything now. And I'm just like, yep, yeah, it's related that's to all anime. dimensional chaos happening. If that is the case, I believe hitting it will either shift us to another dimension or cause us to implode. Ah. I like those odds. Oh, what the fuck? There we go. I knew it. The Blizzard must have absorbed <laughs> Sounds cringe too, exactly. What's even chaos. more cringe is I think what ends up happening in that show is that the the waifu that helps the main character out the most doesn't even end up being the choice. They choose like a lesser character that's fucking nowhere near as interesting from what I heard. I don't know. All I know is people kept talking about it and I was like, that show is bad. That's a bad show. Where the hell are we going? Are we going through here or some shit? What are we doing? If it helps, Ratchet, 
I have never met my family either. I didn't ask. Unless you count the Emperor. In which case, you cannot do any worse. Probably not. But even if the Lombaxes are the best family ever, they could still be disappointed in me. How? You are a hero. I've hit a few bad guys, sure, but they invented so many brilliant things. Who cares what they invented? Short. Maybe. But I use those inventions, though, man. My dimension kit, and I don't want to risk it. How how can anyone be disappointed in Ratchet? Guy saved the universe like how many times Speaking already? Speaking of risk, if Kagaro Station exists in this dimension, do you think the Rubion Forge does too? Possibly. But with the state of everything here, who knows if it would work? Maybe our best bet then is to find some more Bleez on and head back to the other dimension. Another cringe part is why Ratchet uh why does Ratchet insist on being being part of a team with this robot? Because, honestly, I think, honestly, just to replace Clank. <laughs> oh, you kind of remind me of Clank. I mean, I guess you're the next best thing. I don't, I don't think all the discussions is cringe with Ratchet. I mean, like, yeah, it's a little wishy-washy. But, I mean, I get it, right? I get it, because it's like continuing on what they did with uh, Into the Nexus, where like, they're like, we got the Dimensionator now, we can totally fucking go look for the Lombaxes, and then Ratchet goes, I don't want to. He's like, you know what? I don't need to find a different life. I got my life right here. It's fine. And then this game came out, and they forgot all about his little love interest that he had. Oh my god, these amiibos are fucking me. Fucking me up. All these amiibos, they're mad that, that they have That's no use way. and they just collect dust. <laughs> Nintendo still sells amiibos. God damn it. Get them, my little chihuahuas. Oh my god, it's like a fucking horror movie in there. Oh my god. It's like I'm watching a scene out of Alien or some shit. Oh my god, you are high as fuck, dude. <laughs> How do I, uh... Oh, I can't do like a... Ver oh, there we go. I lost my ability to do like a high jump? Huh. You can't like crouch and jump no more. Oh my god. Look at how many of them there are. That's a lot. And they're all shiny. <laughs> he forces them to be a team for literally no reason. His super friendship saves the universe. Oh, you want to talk about friendship saves the universe? One of the reasons why I don't watch Fairy Tale. We just gotta be friends! And I'm like, oh, oh no. It's completely opposite of how he was in Ratchet 1. Oh yeah, in Ratchet 1 he was a jackass. He was also like a surfer dude, because in the early 2000s that's what being cool was, was being like a surfer dude. Nowadays being cool is like not taking a shower and being <laughs> being incompetent 100% of the time. Is he okay? I'm Ratchet. Oh, that is great. Hello, Ratchet. Were you looking for me? That would be great too. Can I call you Chet? No. And no. <laughs> I'm uh, looking for some Blizzon. Oh, I know just the place. But I lost my access arm in all of this water. Have to drain it. But how, Ratch? How? Calm down. I'll handle it. If the room is prone to flooding, they would likely keep the pump controls somewhere high. Hey, Ratcho. You did not have for it. My name is Junkbot, in case you are interested. Yeah. I know I am. Pleasure to meet you, Junkbot. This is Kit. Hello. Kids? So why do you two need that Blizzard? We're, uh, trying to get into another dimension to use their Rubion Forge. We have one here. Too bad it has not worked forever. It can make the funnest square. Oh, yeah, motherfuckers aren't tough with that water. Now are you? Ha ha. There we go. 
Oh, you just saw how it disintegrated? Your favorite arm? <laughs> what? So, is that access arm like some kind of key? If by key you need a way to easily and safely press buttons, then yes. What? But please on. Oh, -ho, there is an elevator that will take us to one of those delightful glowing crystals right up ahead. to kill you? Did you become friends too? You can call him Juicy or Juicini or, or, or JC. Oh, that is a swell nickname. God, I feel bad for you, Robot, for being so lonely, but oh my god. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's my friend Juice. He tries to kill me. See? Elevator. Bam. Who's that over there? Oh, that's my... <laughs> oh, that's my wife, Jada. She cheats on me. <laughs> Too soon. Too soon, but so easy. Leave it to us, Jumpbot. Okay, I will just stay down here and watch you. I'm sorry, what what hey am I doing? Is it spooky in here or what? I'm sorry, I was not paying attention. <laughs> I, I said that dumbass joke. They hunger, she says. How much, uh... Oh my god, look at the army. Just look at them go. Ow. It's like I'm playing a Plague's Tale, <laughs> but I'm the rat, or the rat chit. And then they just blow up and die. Damn it, where's my robots? Every video game should have like an enemy that chases you that you can't kill for a while. Maybe not every video game, but a lot of video games should. Feels great when you go, when you open the door and then fucking and then Tyrant just walks on through. From another dimension. Very funny. Tell George Bot he better watch his back tomorrow. The Ruby on board should be just ahead. Oh, there's rare titanium out there. I want that. That's useful to me. That's something I want. I love the aesthetics of this place, by the way. I honestly do. It reminds me of uh, Bioshock. Man, speaking of Bioshock, why the fuck does everyone hate Bioshock Infinite? Like, I feel like whenever someone talks about it, if they're not talking about the story, they're talking about how they just don't like the game. And I don't get it. I think it's a good game. What are you doing here? That's actually you have a CD story. case with old games and demos from the PlayStation magazines. Oh my fucking god. Remember the you fucking... Remember the, uh... Yeah, was it Metal Gear Solid 2 demo? Jesus. Get in here. 
Found a few deaths with Deadlocked. Up your arsenal, Jack 3. Metal Gear Solid 3 demo. Oh. Is Metal Gear Solid 3 the best? I think it's the best. And orange. Because I am an interior decorator. First class. And the Emperor wanted this redecoration to be a I'll surprise for you life. and your team. Not for honor, but for you. In my time, there'll be no one else. Crime, it's the way I fly to I'm still in a dream, snake eater. My man said, some days you feast on a tree frog. I was like, what? <laughs> what days are you feasting on tree frogs? That ain't me. I've never done that shit before. See? It's pretty crazy that all those games came out on the PS2. I know, right? Ratchet 1 through 4, Jack, MGS 2 and 3, and GTAs. Honestly, when I think about GTA on the PS2, I only think about Vice City and San Andreas, really. Like, I played Liberty City Stories on the PSP, and then, um... Schematics uploaded. And I, rem I remember GTA 3 a little bit. But not that much. I see. Are you winging this? Yeah, I'm winging it. Come on. But don't I wing it? Oh. You ran the forge with auxiliary power only? The main power button was right there. Ah, just running a stress test. Let me see. Yes, everything is breaking correctly. Let's get out of here before. Get those charlatans. Oh. You guys weren't supposed to come through that door. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm in the corner. Why did the forge not work? I guess it wasn't fully powered. But that other button didn't look right. I had so much momentum. Something out. So that man came around the corner? Jesus. Came around the corner meaning business. I nefarious. I need that Lombax found out immediately. If he spoils my victory any further, I'll close the water to the forge and make a nice mouth for myself. Where the hell my agents go? They all die? Oh nope, there they are. Ow. I love those little guys. They're so wonderful. What the hell do I do over here now? I'm trying to get that. 
Oh, here we go. You know, speaking about games coming out on the PS2, I still, I still get a little annoyed when people are like, "Oh man, what is this game? It looked like a PS2 game." And I'm sitting there, I'm like, I don't think, I don't think people, like the most people who say that, haven't really played the PS2. Like PS2 had fucking Kingdom Hearts 2, right? Final Fantasy 10. Again, like MGS3. MGS3 looked great. That has to be the last of them. PS2 has some good ass looking games. What do we do now? That was the only Ruby on Forge that could make the Dimensionator. There's still one in this dimension, though. Maybe we can get it working again. I think when people think of PS2 graphics, they all just think about San Andreas, right? Water MGS3 was good. And PC Half-Life was as good as PC Half-Life at the time. PS2 was actually pretty goddamn good first time. That's why it lasted so fucking long. Like, the PS2 didn't fully stop, like... Didn't fully stop, like, being relevant until, like... Halfway into the PS4's life cycle, because in Japan, people are still fucking around with the PS2. Like, it's crazy. Again, you also got, like, Silent Hill 3. Like, that game looked great, too. I think I have just the friend who can help with that. Alright, what am I doing over here? Wait, what? Sometimes I don't pay attention. Oh! We're sending Glitch in there. I love Glitch. Remember when the PS4 launched, there were screenshots online for people still being able... Uh, being able to to ass a brand <laughs> to ass a brand in PS2, PS3, PS4. Uh, I'm sorry, I got, I got lost for a moment. Uh, PS2, PS3, and PS4 to their shopping cart from the Walmart. <laughs> Add a new brand. Okay, yeah, fucking PS2 got a lot of good games. Also got a lot of shovelware. All right, time to time to lose my lunch because you can walk upside down and shit in here. You get motion sickness real easily. I can't imagine anyone liking this because <laughs> all this twisty turny shit. All right, so what's the what's the deal? Don't I get like a? Uh... Oh, uh, go up there. Okay, hold up. I'm already losing a shit ton of health. Do I get a... Uh, do I get, like, fucking... What can you call it? Missiles or some shit? Wait, hold up. Oh, that's why I use them. Okay. Sorry. I'm already, like, half dead. Well, I'm more than half dead. That's for sure. There we go. Find whatever bullshit they're attached to, which is up there. Excuse me. Good I disabled. Disabled you. Oh my god, there's so many of you guys. You know, it would help if I got like a little bit of health from this or some shit. Oh, I already. Okay, there we go. I thought I already did that one. Another one here. Where, uh, where's the other one? Oh, that thing's still alive over there. Get rid of that. The computer is starting to come back online, which means that firewall should be totally clear now. 
Oh. All right, where is the last one that I'm looking for? Oh, it's over there. Oh shit, keep going. Don't stop moving. I forgot I had a super ability. That I just wasted. Hold them off. I only got 27 health. Jesus fuck. the camera so close to me god damn it <laughs> i like glitch glitch is cool you have to skip the glitch missions in new game plus two. Oh damn were they really that hard <laughs> i bet i mean once you're getting surrounded by everything and you can't even see shit because all the ray tracing is so beautiful dude imagine like listen i know people didn't like infamous second son but imagine if infamous second son had ray tracing oh my fucking god Oh my god. The Neon ability? That's crazy. <laughs> Difficult on hardest mode. I fucking bet. <laughs> is there a reason this is locked up? Oh, here, here we are. That's a lot of door. That's a lot of door. <laughs> oh, and it closes behind me. That's great. This must be where they generate. Most surely, the nothing power. bad will happen down here. But there is nothing here. Is Joe Bot messing with us? I don't know. But if the power source really is missing, we could grab the one in the other dimension. The one with an entire station looking for us? Until we have a better solution. Yeah, Rivet. I mean, not Rivet. What the fuck Let's the name is? Yeah, Kit. Solution. The Fun Dimension. Live a little, damn it. Oh, this is a... This is a window. Oh, look at this shit. Rip straight out of Alien. Is that? Don't mind me, I'm just opening a door. Door getting opened. Oh! Oh, you're pretty fucking. Okay, I thought I thought he was like right, right behind me. It's not that fast. Come on, come on, come on. Woo! For some reason. See, they can for sure bring Infamous back. Maybe a PS3 collection. I don't want Sucker Punch bringing Infamous back until I see my fucking Sly Cooper 5. I don't care about no goddamn Ghost of Tsushima 2. Ghost of Tsushima is a great game. I did a playthrough of Ghost of Tsushima. It's on my YouTube channel. Go check it out. But, um... Fucking Jesus. Just, li listen. You, you ended a story on a cliffhanger. I get it. You know? To be fair, it wasn't Sucker Punch. It was Saranzu that did it. But, come the fuck on, man. Come on. Even Saranzu, they're like, they want to make another Sly game because they were getting their bearings with, like, Thieves in Time. But, like, god damn, dude. Just just finish the story. Right? 
Just finish it. Don't worry about it, Rivet. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I keep calling you Rivet. Your name's Kit. I'm sorry. Come on. Oh my god, you got fucking hops. Come on. Just a little bit more. There we go. Oh, wait. I did get it. Oh, well then. What the hell am I waiting on? Is this where I'm supposed to be going? Oh no, this is where I came from. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm supposed to be going this way. I did that to power up something over here, right? And now, I guess I follow this? You gotta... You gotta move there, buddy? I know, I know what I'm doing. It's fun. Biohazard. Oh no. The, what the fuck? Well, that blew up in my face earlier. I'm out of... I'm out of ammo. I need more Robo Buddies. Or maybe I don't. Damn, you guys are vicious. See if I can. That looks fun. God. Weapons don't even phase him. Ah, oh, it's a window. Stop Damn it. And run. I'm not shooting. That's the agents. They're fucking doing their thing. I can't control them. Once they're set free, they're dangerous. Alright. If I were Blizzon, where would I be? There we go. Where's the uh oh here it is. Nice job, Ratchet. Ratchet, are you okay? Yeah. Their side characters Luckily have been getting weirder. You're noticing that junior years. caretaker of the clock. Oh, the fucking junior caretaker was honestly like. I know the guy means well, but Jesus, that dude was fucking annoying. <laughs> He's like, oh, Sir Sigmund, your your penis is so big. Just constantly. He's like, I can do this all by myself, Clank, you know, but I would never, not without Sigmund's permission, by the graces of his penis. I need to do everything, he says. Oh, shit. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta aim it. I did not want to risk things either, but I am glad I did. Thanks, kid. That means a lot. Yeah, he was. I think he was voiced by Nolan North. Was he really? Oh, God. Nolan really put on, like, a weird-ass voice for him. What does Nolan North do nowadays? Is he, like, fully retired? Or something? Because there hasn't been any Uncharted for him to be in lately. Maybe he's doing, like... AC Superhero Girls or whatever. I feel like that's something he would do. Be on like one of the DC animated movies. Oh fuck!
There we go. It's all fine. Good question. Last you knew, he was in U4. U4. Oh, Uncharted 4. Duh. Oh, do I, yeah. They were like, we took Nolan North and Troy, ba and Troy Baker and put him in the same game. Come on. The thing that everyone's been asking for. That may have been said to death. It's like, oh, it's you your brother that we never knew again. about, Drake, because I the memory was just too painful for you to talk about. Ms. Zircon? What are you doing here? If Zircon Jr. wants to study existential economics at Bogon University, then by goodness, I will make sure we can afford it. That is a good mother. Good job. Oh shit, I don't have the Omega version Looks of like you got enough of that beauty. I fucking love this Pleasure damn thing. To see you. Makes me feel like a man. Because I have such a small PP, I need a big gun there is an to compensate. Field here. The power source must be nearby. Impossible! <laughs> Impossible! <Be> blows up! <laughs> Throw my agents. Kill for me. Oh really? I killed everything already? Oh no, no I didn't. Get over here agents. Kill, destroy. I will sit here and watch. God. <laughs> can no one stop him? Ah, oh, well, flying things can. They can't reach that. You know what's weird? Why didn't they give them, like, laser beams like they did in the other games? Didn't these guys used to have, like, laser beams on their back or some shit? I might just be thinking about the Zircons. The power source is juice? We We should free him. Look at what they put him through. No wonder he is so angry. We come in peace, big guy. We did it, Juice. We saved you. Now, by the rules of Pixar, we are the bestest of friends. And you will now kill and destroy my enemies. Ah! I almost went straight into whatever the fuck that was. I'm not even sure if it's water. Where is the, uh... Who's this? That's gonna help out a lot. Slow them down so Juice can just fuck them up. Come on, Juice. There's a big guy there for you. Go get him. Go help me my little chihuahuas. Oh my god, there's three of them. I didn't even notice. I thought there was only two. That guy just fucking... Oh no. Oh, you're still alive? Oh. I don't think you're supposed to be down there, buddy. Okay. Oh, all right, you can get back up here. 
Wait, where'd he go? Wait. Where is he? Oh. He was just glitching through the fucking matrix out here. There we go. Hey, Juice. That was weird. You wouldn't happen to know another way to power up the Rubion Forge, would you? Does he want us to follow him? The police on. He wants to come with us. Any place is better than here, right? Maybe he can help us power the forge after all. Wow. I can't believe that this weird fish creature that we just found in the middle of the ocean somehow can understand dimensional travel. Isn't that very fortunate? Still with us, Juice? Come on! The Rubion Forge is upstairs. Come on, JC! It is me! Good old JB! <laughs> Hey man, you're me from a different dimension. Wanna fuck? Yeah, sure, why not? I think this is where they got the plot from Loki. <laughs> right? That whole fucking... That Marvel TV show? Jesus. That whole show, Loki, is him going like, You're me from a different dimension, but a girl. Kinda hot, wanna fuck? <laughs> Did it work? Maybe. <laughs> it's weird how some dimensions, parallel characters are completely opposites, and others are exactly the same. Yeah, I don't get it either. That's what we call. That's what we call a plot hole, and we just don't think about it. <laughs> Here is the new Looks like we just need to get back to our ship now. Are y'all literally just chasing each other around like a bunch of squirrels and eat? Thanks, and we'll do, uh, junkie. All right, now how the fuck do I get out of here? Where is, uh, where's the exit? Said, oh. Yeah, we wait. Oh. Hold up. Meet someone. What are you talking about? You met me, and that went great. I fell off the archives in front of you and screamed. <laughs> <Along. True. laughs> that is funny. I, know, I fell off a cliff and screamed. <laughs> and don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Okay. Uh, GG on the part of this area was pretty difficult on your first playthrough. Poor lightning. Poor lighting and everything. I like the I honestly like this area. I just wish there was more instances of like you know, the the giant fish creature chasing you around. You know? Give me flashbacks to like Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Getting chased around by like everything. I have a question about Zerkies too. Oh, what happened with Zerkies? What if I told you I was absentmindedly playing this game and not fully paying attention to what you believe? <laughs> that sounds about right. Alright. We're all heading to Zerkies. I'm gonna go meet our pen pal. Hi, 
After all the love entrances, entrances, why did I say it like that? Interested, interest, in fuck. After all the love interests that Ratchet has cla had over the goddamn years, I find it weird if they go for the whole rivet thing because they both come to the conclusion that they're each other's counterparts. So it's just like, uh -huh, my true love is myself. Right. <laughs> Man, I love myself so much. Guess our adventure's coming to an end, Bolts. You two and. Dr. Nefarious. has a dimensional portal dimension at the front no door. Is that normal? <laughs> or is that inside another dimension? If so, the characters talk about the inside stuff like this is the same dimension, but it's different on the inside. Shouldn't it? You know what? You're right. I always thought that it was like. Honestly, now that I, now that I think about it, god damn it, you're so right. I don't know. I always thought that it was just like dimensions broke out in Zerkies and they were just like, fuck it. <laughs> Let's just do it. Do whatever we, you know, make it whatever we got. Either that or somehow Zerkies has their own type of dimensional thing that they know how to work with. Or maybe this leads to an elevator. But the dimension just somehow opened up right at the entrance or something? I don't know. And I think about it, it's really weird. Oh my god. He broke this whole entire fucking game. <laughs> it doesn't make sense at all. It's like, God damn it, Clank, what happened? <laughs> oh, buddy. For the record, I found him like this. For the record, I didn't I didn't fuck him up. Pretty sure you're me after all. Wait, what makes you so sure you're not me? Well, I mean, come on, I uh, uh You got nothing. Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Rivet, this is Kit. I have been looking forward to meeting you. Um, me too. <laughs> uh. I suppose it is time to fix this mess. <laughs> Feels bad he never well, gets his arm fixed at the end of the game. He does. And the credit in the credits, right? They show like little pictures of them and shit. Oh god. This is supposed to be neutral space. You can't do this. Thank you. Doctor Nefarious. Does this dimension love me or what? My problems deliver themselves right to me. How many times you beat this guy? Clearly not enough. Can I try? Be my guest. What are you doing? All right. Oh. That's a cool ass pose, buddy. <laughs> he has a flower on his head. That's awesome. That was very fortuitous. Oh shit. Look at that SSD, baby. Ah! Oh! The hell are you barking at? I've got it covered. I'm totally fine. What's 
you hear a little bit of noise and you start going crazy. All right, calm down. I get it, Nefarious is a scary guy. He looks kind of like the mailman, a little lanky. Might need some sunlight. <laughs> Ow. Wait, I can't use that. Oh my god, that thing just really, like, tracks me. Alright, where the hell are you? Wait, 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 I want my... I want my money! Oh, damn it. That's not the fun, guys. I'll actually take some of this. I need that. Uh... There you go. I only had enough for one. That. I'm gonna send you into the heart of a supernova. <laughs> you didn't use the dodge until this boss, really? I've been using the dodge the whole entire game. I'm just really bad at it. Oh my god, I can't tell when you're doing that shit. If it, oh, now I can. Now that I'm actually looking at you. Goddamn spread on this thing is like kind of trash. Like hit nefarious for fuck's sake. Ow. It's not even doing that much damage. Good job, Ribbit. I mean, not Ribbit. I keep wanting to call fucking Kit Ribbit. I'm so sorry. Good job, Kit, for doing absolutely nothing. Oh my god, what happened to you guys? Oh no. It's Emperor Zerg! I'm not gonna lie, I really like this Nefarious. And he's somewhat British. Are we done having fun? Come on! Give it up for Rivet and her first victory! I wish I could have been here sooner. However, I am thrilled to announce that I finished neutralizing my enemies. <laughs> With the exception of Captain Quantum. And... Anyway. When I heard that the... Rebel Lombax was battling me. I had to come here. The universe celebrate your defeat. Who was celebrating? You mean them? <laughs> no! Oh my God! You just Budokai'd their ass. Wait! I've been fighting rebels for years. Let me help you wipe them out. Ah, oh, my um, strange. Fan wants to assist. <laughs> Tantalizing. Why don't we make this interesting? Just fucking Vegeta them straight up. Just want to owe this audience. Big bang. <laughs> Bam. Oh shit. Majin Affair. Exactly right. Find quantum. 
He's the true evil version of Nefarious Majin Nefarious. to face the emperor we should gather as many resources as we can <sighs> you're right maybe a good idea to hit the arena before we go that was little zircon jr mm. it's a nice little jukebox what is in there huh all right I forgot I had a sprint button. Oh my god. Not only you got hover boots, but you also got a fucking sprint button. Oh, I mean, uh, thanks for coming to Zerkis. Fuck you! We're gonna need them. Thanks for coming to Zerkis. You set me up. I found a teddy bear. Of course the Emperor would come back just because he was on the news. Ugh. Not for the dimensions falling apart or the Emperor has always been a threat to our universe. We must get the Dimensionator away from I think those ju uh, those jukebox no characters are from say. Sunset Overdrive. Are they? I'm be f to be fair, I never really played Sunset Overdrive. I've only, like, looked at all the, you know, all the famous YouTubers do sponsored videos on them, right? This is sponsored by Sunset Overdrive. It's time for me to do the one video on it and never touch this game ever again. <laughs> and bullshit about how much I love it. It's like when uh, the Predator game came out and they're like, this game is so great! And I'm like, it's really not though, it's kind of dog shit to be honest, but... I thought Sunset Overdrive only had like... The only mascot was like the fucking weird guy with like the soda hat. Haven't played it either. Just watched an Easter egg video. Really? Easter egg for Ratchet and Clank? You here for weapons or ammo? I'm betting both. And apparently the posters around this arena says something like, you are not supposed to be able to translate this in that weird language. Oh, fucking really? Out here making up their own language. Lightning strike. I barely use this fucking weapon. This sucks to me. This doesn't even do that much damage. This barely gets Go used. Ahead, Shug. That is a great deal. I'll just save my money, right? Happy to help, hun. Happy to help, hun. Man, you ever been to the countryside? Like, you really get, like... Like, you get that country ho hospitality, you know? <laughs> when you go to restaurants, like, How y'all doing today? You doing fine? <laughs> Wait, Jesus. It's like it's not, you know, it's not bad, but sometimes it's like, man, you're leaning on a little thick there. <laughs> All right, Sergasso and Clink's heading to Just where? Here, you guys. Oh, to They'll find Captain Quantum. Captain Quantum. We are not letting the I guess I might as well head to Sargasso first. Actually, before I do that, I was only supposed to stream for like a handful minutes or whatever I got a like on my dating profile thank you my phone for telling me that doesn't matter unless they answer <laughs> the emperor was bad enough but now that he has the dimensionator we will not lose your friends what do you mean we will not lose my friends? Half of them are already if dead. Ratchet is an alternate dimension me, and Clank is an alternate dimension you. Will it be incestuous if we fucked each other? Meant to team up too? They do seem happy together. Yeah. Guess. Ardolis is from Quest Two. Yeah, it's the robot. I mean, not the robot. It's the pirate island, right? Pirate island. Pirate planet. So maybe this is just temporary. Outpost L fifty one. It's the same as Argasa. Outpost L51. Is that the one from Future Tools? Where it has like the giant dinosaurs and shit? Furious. I 
Actually, you know, but speaking about future tools, I'm really fucking happy. Like, one of the re recurring characters I'm happy to not see again, is honestly, is fucking, um, is the smuggler. Not that I hate the character, but god damn it, that stupid side quest shit, it's so just unnecessarily time consuming. Oh, go grab me some more Leviathan souls if you want to buy shit. Like, ugh. Yeah, he was definitely a little much. Like, he was fun in, like, the, in terms of story and, like, shit that he does, but every time you see him, it's like, you're in this open area because having things be kind of open world now is kind of the trend. And it's like, now go and kill these enemies for some bullshit, pad the game out, and if you actually want anything worth a damn, you gotta kill a bunch of them to go grab, uh... Enough money to get enough, you know, to have enough money to go upgrade shit or get, like, new weapons or some bullshit. And half of the weapons were like, it's the tornado weapon, you control it with the motion controls, isn't it great? And then I'm like, no, it's really not, though. Uh, it's kind of dog shit. Control it with the Cyaxis controller that feels like you can just snap it in two. Like, I remember when, uh, like, it was, like, halfway into the PS4's life cycle. And I was, like, um, I was, like, starting to buy, like, you know, starting to, like, finish up the games I wanted to get for my PS3. You know, before all of them got re-released, and now none of them are worth a damn. <sighs> I'm looking at you, JoJo All-Star Battle. Not worth a damn no more. <laughs> Game was super rare and I got it for like a fair price and I was like oh. And now it's not worth shit. <laughs> oh, Rivet. Sorry you had to come save us again. We tried But um yeah, I remember around that time, I'm not sure if it's still the case, but like finding DualShock 3 controllers like actual like legit DualShock 3 controllers was kind of difficult and I managed to get two of them, both of them red. And I was like, oh my god, DualShock 3 controller has the worst triggers ever, but other than that, I think it's, in terms of longevity, it's probably one of the best controllers ever. It lasts a fucking long-ass time. And then, I don't know how many PS4 controllers I went through with its weird fucking, like, analog stick problem. Because for some reason, that whole entire generation just decided to not get good analog sticks. So every fucking thing had a drift problem. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> like even when the PS5 came out, it had a bit of a drift problem, but I I guess that I guess it just might have been like an update or something that you had to do to the controller because I don't get it anymore. This is the same controller I have since the launch of the PS5, right? And honestly, I haven't like it drift a little bit. Like, early on in the PS5, I forgot, uh, it's like one of my streams that I did, I was playing on the PS5 and I was complaining about it. But fucking, um, it's not there anymore, it just doesn't drift at all. They could have made some new, uh, some new unique planets. Like the hippie guy on the snow world in Ratchet 2. Oh my god, Ratchet 2 is such a fucking forgetful goddamn game, I swear. The only thing I remember is Angela and like... And Cortex was like... The plot twist. The hippie snow guy, god damn it. Um... Shit. I can't remember. But I remember the dumb fucking lava gun from Ratchet 2. That fucking gun was a piece of shit. Pure red or see through red? Pure red. Yeah, most of the PS4 controllers are broke. I was mad as fuck because I still have one of my PS controllers because, you know, uh, PS, PS4 controllers that, like, kind of ha that has drift on it. Um, it was, it's, a uh, it's like the orange and, like, dark blue controller, and I really liked it. I really liked that color scheme on it. And that shit, like, after what? 
five, maybe six months, it started drifting, and I was like, Jesus, fuck, come on, man, I don't want to buy another fucking $60 controller, what the hell? So I didn't. <laughs> the heavy guy with uh, the reason you need those snowman crystals on Angela's level. I don't remember him at all. Where's my phone? Let me look this up real quick, actually. Uh, let me see. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> they just killed themselves. Let's see. Ratchet and Clank 2. Thanks a lot, voice. Voice the text. You didn't get any of that. Ratchet and Clank 2. Let me see. Do you know the name of the, uh, character? Let me see. Uh... I remember the snow level. Does he look like Skid McMarks? Is he the guy with the fucking headband? Like an old ass dude? <laughs> the Mystic? Is that what he's called? Kind of skid? Yeah, okay. I don't really remember much of that guy, but I do remember, like, there are two levels that are kind of like the same. Where you just gotta go out into the field and hunt shit down. Like, one of them was on the Gadgetron world, I think. Where they're like, oh, Gadgetron is not doing so hot in this, in this fucking dimension. Not dimension, what was it? This uh, solar system. Or universe or whatever. Threatening me over holograms. Classic. I'm not worried about you guys, I'm just keep going. Unless I have to be worried about you. Then, then I'm a head back. Oh! How'd I not die? Ow. I guess I gotta kill you guys. Oh, my Toby are leveled up. Nice. Oh, the way that his laugh slowed down. <laughs> that was pretty fucking awesome. Ow. I love how this weapon is supposed to have a good amount of stun on it, but, like, you motherfuckers... Still be, still be shooting me in the middle of it. Let's keep following Maynard toward that seeker pit. So many ships. The Emperor's being very thorough. It'll be okay. We'll free the seeker pit and the fight will start going our way. It will. Come on. Get zapped up. I miss the lightning whip. I wish they put it in this game. I like the lightning whip. It made me feel powerful. Let's see.
Yeah, but now, now that I look at it and get like, you know, and I'm like fully going through the game like a second time. I do kind of see where it's like, where it's like Rift Apart really didn't do anything new besides like, you know, just a handful of characters. Because they are pretty much the same location. Right, I mean, honestly they should have fleshed out, um, like, uh, what the hell is Nefarious' city called? I think it's just called Nefarious City or something like that. They should have fleshed that out more, right? Like, maybe have that be the final- I mean, it is the final area of the game, right? That's where you go to last? They should have done more of that. And they also should have, uh... I don't know, I feel like... I feel like Ratchet and Clank always did its best in, like, areas where... where the setting was more high-tech than it was, like, nature. I hate this fucking gun. I hate this goddamn gun. What am I using? How much damage is that doing? One percent? Ow. Oh, hey, it's the it's the guy from the first game. The test subject. Where the hell did he go? Did I push him into the I think I pushed them into the fucking what, you call it? what the hell is that thing? Oh! Hey! It's a uh, one of the bots from um what you call it? From Horizon. I still haven't played the second game. Which one was that? Was that like the saber the saber maw, saber tooth, something like that? I forgot what the fuck it was called. Uh, the test subject from, um, Ratchet and Clank 1, where, uh, where, uh, Captain Quark, like, betrays you? You didn't find any of those Easter eggs from the Rift weapon? Oh, damn. At first you thought similar, uh, you thought the planets were similar, or were from other areas of the same planet, but being the same exact areas was kind of too repetitive, yeah. Yeah, I definitely see it. I don't know, I think- I always thought Ratchet and Clank did really good in, like, city areas. Like, I wish there was more of those. Oh, this is an electric but I feel like, you know, there's only so many city areas you can do before it seem, seeming all, like, too samey. Because, I mean, think of every city fucking level from every Ratchet and Clank game, right? You got Kerwan from the first one, which is where you get the helipack and shit, and it's like, oh yeah, now the game's getting started, right? You have, um, I'm trying to think from the second game, it's, actually I can't think of the second game, I'm thinking of, uh, Up Your Arsenal where you fight the Britney Spears robot. Like, have that area. Is that a city? That's in a city, right? I'm not crazy. You know, the city levels in Future Tools were okay, city level in, um, and, uh, Kraken Time, I think, is probably one of the best levels in that game. How do I get you guys to turn again? Oh. Okay. And then what the hell is this? That's intriguing. The Spinergizer converted the dimensional energy into action! Oh. Alright. And then I have this jump thing. Which does what exactly? How do I get you guys to turn? Is there like a platform for me to stand on somewhere? Because the goal is to get you guys to jump over here. Oh! I'm stupid. 
for some reason I was like, yeah, just fucking walk through it. Am I crazy? Put, put the damn thing there. What am I looking at right now? Okay. Uh, I was too busy with combat. I was too busy in combat, but apparently the uncharted jeep can fall down too. Oh, really? From like four, or the first uncharted? Honestly, any jeep would do fine. How do you specifically know it's from Uncharted? Does it say Uncharted on it? <laughs> Any Jeep. Wait, how the fuck did I get you guys to turn? When did that happen? Wait, what? Oh, because I tucked that away. Wait, what? Wait. Oh, now you guys are fucking pressing this down with your Okay, I get it. Alright, hold up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta get you guys to cut that shit out. I was so confused for a moment. I get it now. I get it. I get it. I get it. Make you guys slow down for a bit. And then have you guys go over here. And just get a nice number of you to get ready to jump. There we go. Job, kid. You're just as fast to be honest, all the plant, all the plants and galaxies oh, blend together for you well, <laughs> until you started playing them back to back. It seems that the dimensional yeah, has been intensifying it does do that. Than I expected. I assume the Emperor stealing the Dimensionator and firing it recklessly has something to do with that. Ah, uh, that would do it all right. All right. So, what do you think of Clank? Oh, talented, resourceful, very shiny. Agreed? <laughs> very Agreed. shiny. Agreed. Almost like he has ray tracing or something. What does that mean? It's a compliment, Git, to both of you. What do you think of Clank? We have barely spoken, but I am glad my counterpart is a good guy. You were worried about that? It is a reasonable concern. Well, it wasn't for me. You're good. No. See, what does this do? So, of course, he would be, too. That lowers that. You guys That's can help me out with that. Oh, wait. How fuck I get back over there? Uh-oh. There we go. All right. And now I just do this. Uncharted 4, same license plate. Oh, really? Motherfuckers remember the license plate on Uncharted 4? <laughs> They're like, yeah, I remember those, those numbers and letters. Really like Clank's original origin, just being a malfunction bot. Yeah, I don't fuck. What was the goddamn story behind fucking the quantum shit? It's like, what? He willed him to be a malfunction or some shit, or willed him to be made by in that factory or something? Oh, no, it was dumb. It was dumb. And I still am with Rivet. But people zoomed into the license plates. Like we already know each other. Some well, people are crazy. Destiny or not, right? I hope Rivet realizes how lucky she is to have you. Well, at least, at least that's more work than 
Oh, the fuck game theory does now. <laughs> well, not more work, more like more interesting, I guess. It's like here's a fact. Instead of going like, guys, game theory time. How big is Steve from Minecraft's penis? As we can see, that it's about 50 micro blocks big. <laughs> Obviously, that translates into five centimeters each. All right, what the hell am I doing here? Uh, where's the? Uh... Wait. Why is it connected like that? What am I missing? Did you guys jump over here? Was there a... Was there a switch up there? I don't think there was. Let me see. If I may offer one thought, oh, I didn't mean to throw that over there. Be beneficial to explore the area for more spheres. How about... Mind your business, Gary. Oh, okay, hold up. Alright, wait a minute. Wait a minute, give me that. Give me stop. Give me that. That synergizer could use some energizing. Alright. So you guys will jump over this. And then, what am I still holding on to? Wait, no. There's a, there's a way down one. There's one, oh, it's over there. Get off the fucking, get off of it. Something like Orville's willed him to be the one or something. Orville's his name. Why the fuck do I keep calling him Sigmund? Who's Sigmund? <laughs> Orville. You've done better than I would have if I had been in your shoes, right? What? You went out into the unknown without a lifeline. You... Why'd you stop talking, Gary? What the hell happened? Wait. There we go. I mean, wrong one. What the hell am I doing? I'm sorry. Put that there, and then... There we go. Home solved. Oh, people are yelling in my house again. That's cool. You did it, Kit! Kit I am so proud of Sigma is the junior well caretaker. Or Orville's the purple. You, the purple main clock guy. <laughs> He's purple? Oh, he is purple, yeah, all the zonies are purple. He's the only zoni that has, like, true sentience for some reason. Because aren't the rest of the zoni like a hive mind or some bullshit? Thanks a bunch there, kid. Now these jerks will really find out who they're messing with, don't you know? Mush, please! Nice work! Wanna blow that up? I could be persuaded. I like blowing shit up. Exactly a straight line to the battle cruiser, but that hurl shot should get us closer. Oh, try to use my own syncopate against me. Oh, I do love watching others embarrass themselves. Yes, how could you possibly hope to defeat Team the Barrier? I want to see how far you can go. Come on, Rivet, you got this. Crash the party. Ow.
Wait, what did I? Oh, that's the wrong one. What the hell was I trying to take out? The rhino? Come on, come down here. Big ass green thing I can turn. You there, Rivet? We locked on the kid's signal. Trudy's coming to help. Just hop on her back. What a show! That thing is a very, very ugly creature. Shall we? All cruisers, activate your destructor beams. Planetary devastation! Finally! Alright. Did he just say planetary devastation? Did he just say a thing from Naruto? I'm not even controlling the fucking thing. Oh, you gotta control it with the camera. That's weird. You leave the mothership to us, Rivet. We'll keep her busy with our pesky syncope. You got it. We'll handle those battle cruisers. Ow. Oh, come on, you gotta... I gotta have like a... Okay, there we go. There's a speed up. Right. Cool. Got a little bit of Panzer Dragoon shit going on right here. Come on. There you go. Now, what the hell am I supposed to be destroying? slow down button. Just speed up and slow down, I guess, is all we got. No, like, aerial dodge or anything. Okay. Bombs in question. Let's grab one. Wait. Oh, they're over there. All right, cool. There we go. Let's see how their shields hold up against one of these. All right, how do I drop it? Just press the square button. Oh, I didn't know you threw it. Oh, well, got lucky. Oh, it just takes him down completely. Oh, shit. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. I don't need to verify it. I hit you? I did. Nice. Them. 
the zoning got really confusing. What the fuck were they all about? Time travel? Dimensions with the space and time stuff. The time travel is forbidden, even though they still do it, but dimension changing is okay. It's like time travel was Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger! <laughs> Dimensions was Chrono Cross. I never finished Chrono Cross. Chrono Cross is weird. Isn't the new version of Chrono Cross like dog shit or something? I finished Chrono Trigger though. Let's be honest, I fucking. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember everything. I think the thing that stuck with me the most is like, you have Chrono, he dies, and then you go and get a fake Chrono and replace him in the fight with. with Gaia, and, and then you save the real Chrono? Things up. We appear to be in a pocket dimension. The new Chrono Cross is basically the same as the PS1. Besides the Radical Dreamer shit. Exactly Finished Chrono Cross, but totally forgot the story. No, too far. Did the story even matter? <laughs> I just remember that Chrono Cross, for some reason, they were like, we want every character to speak kind of differently, so then you have a character that talks about don't you know, don't you know. And it's like, Jesus. Oh, with Lavos, not Gaia. Who the fuck was Gaia? What am I thinking of? I am. I wasn't fast enough. Oh no, I might be thinking of Gygus from like Earthbound. Got away before it could finish the job. But I built myself this cool new arm, so it's not all bad. Rivet. I. That's fine. Hey, look. An exit! Check this out. Let's get to Zerkis. Maybe Ratchet and Clank have some good news. Yeah, I lost his arm fighting a robot. It kind of looked it like you. But whatever, I guess. Sweetie. But it can't possibly be you.